Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Winners Don't Use Drugs, presented by Engage Gaming, episode 139. Crystal clear clarity. I'm Darius here with Steven. You gotta say words for the listeners. How do, oh, how do you do? There we go. Nolan, how we feeling? Tired. Yeah, I understand. That time of year. It ain't, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what, t- what time of year is that? <laughs> Anytime. The time of the year to be tired. Yeah. Which is every, every time. And that's Zach. How you feeling? What's up? See? Got everybody, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. The uh, video game news. We're we're a week away from Gamescom, so we we got we got stuff that's been dropping, which feels like the uh, like the precursor. So we got some things to talk about, but more importantly, as always, we got to present to you the what is it? Banger of the week, 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 week. Banger of the week, banger of the week, banger of the week, banger of the week. Bum, 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 bum. Overlay that with the air horn. Uh, so this this game is I know this is one of Darius's favorite games. This is Darius's thing. Top ten. Pause. <laughs> Top ten. Franchises of Capcom of all time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bring it back, Capcom. Yeah, clearly yeah. it's time to bring it back. I don't understand, yeah. like, like. You cowards? Yes. Make New Dragons Dogma, which is, I'm happy for all the Dragons Dogma fans. Relax. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? It's right here. Another game, for, for those you don't know, I'm hit you with one of these Nolan type facts. Another starting off as a Resident Evil game. And then. Have we said the name of it yet? No, no I want to build didn't. it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta get some 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 Aminusia or whatever the hell it's called. Aminusia. <laughs> Ooh, I said all the okay. <laughs> As a per- person who mispronounces things, I like that. <laughs> I that, that was, that y'all ever play that the uh, the samurai game where you're fighting the zombies and it's like Resident Evil shit? Uh, I'm Aminusia. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good game. Amusha. My cousin got it in Japan first. He beat it already. They got oh, the 17th one already. The 17th one? Yeah, yeah on the wow. PS6. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. crazy. They go right to your cerebral cortex. It's so far ahead of us. It's yeah, like you, you actually playing it. If you die, you die for real. That's why he don't really play it that much because he don't It's dangerous. Die. Yeah. He in the military, so he can handle it. But, you know. <laughs> there you go. He was trained for that. No, Only Musha, the one that started the whole series, um, started off as a Resident Evil, just like DMC, ended up turning into something completely different. And, uh, Ah yes, this is this is a Darius game. You know what I'm saying? Now this one, as as being the first one in the series, again, started off as a Resident Evil game, you will notice that real quick because you still got tank controls. Yeah. You got some quick movements. You got like he could do a little side dash and you all that. Dash. But for the most part, you gotta you gotta restructure yourself and you know what I'm saying? Which is which is sometimes very frustrating because there are some time sequences. And it's like, but you got oh, fixed yeah. camera angles, and you try to tell me I gotta get out this castle in time. Hey, man, yeah, you gotta fight with solve puzzles. Yeah, yes. Oh, still, still way heavier on the puzzle solving. That's actually something that I kind of miss as the series went went longer. Is the they kind of Resident Evil five it towards the end, like Resident Evil uh, Dawn. Let I me mean, sorry, Only Musha Dawn of Dreams is like Resident Evil five. It's co op. It's Way less puzzle solving. It's more of what about the action. In. On. Yeah, it's a little more action oriented. This one, the uh, the the basic enemies can can still give you the business. Like they hit hard. Um, you know, you got a level up system where you suck the souls into the only gauntlet. Got different uh, different elemental weapons that you get throughout the game, and has some of the coolest designs, especially for back then. Oh yeah, the the opening movie for this game. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Yes, it's it's awesome. Like back when we were still having the CG intros to games, yeah, this was up here. It was a, it was an event. Yes, you each of the only Musha intros. This one starring Samanosuke, who is like the main protagonist of the series. Samanosuke, huh? When they say it in English, because I play the game in English, because I live in America, <laughs> <laughs> rock flag and eagle. Uh-huh. They say Samanosuke. Yeah. Um, do you remember Nolan the uh, the actor that this was this was modeled after? Oh no. Okay, because you normally know no weird stuff like that. But uh, it was, unfortunately, I don't know that one. Yeah. What I know the know? one from the. Well, I don't know his name, but I remember the one from the second one. On which two? My Jubei. Jubei. Yes, yeah. he was he was modeled after a Japanese actor who was had passed away. Yeah. But like they have a, a lot of things that were very 
very reminiscent of the time, but also kind of starting to figure out the action genre where you have like the blocking and parry system and, and the, uh, which sometimes just jamming the square button can get you to parry something and get you to instant kill an enemy, which you'll very, you very much so need to happen. Well, there's some difficulty spikes in this game too that, that come out of nowhere. Like when you fight Marcellus the first time, my goodness. Marcellus. Yeah. With, uh, what's that creepy dude, Hildegarn? Yeah. Hildarn. Mm-hmm. The one that's got like the, the, the snail head, the, you know, he's got the, he looks like a xenomorph. Yeah. He's Noble Naga's right hand. He's a scientist. Is really, he the one that's really causing all the problems, actually. Like, Noble Naga just getting like demon souls and stuff to make himself stronger and, and not die. But this dude's over here doing experiments on people. There's uh, always like a, you know, evil doctor in there somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I love the, uh, the pre rendered backgrounds. Bring, bring those back, too. I miss those. Yeah. I don't know. I like the pre rendered backgrounds, I like the, the fixed camera angles. I don't know. That's just me. I mean, there's a, there's, to me, there's nothing wrong with it when it's done when it was done this well. You know, when you do something like Trag, where it's like, okay, we clearly just was trying to get by by getting by. You know, I mean, you have to bring that up. Yes, yes, I did. Anytime I can insert Trag, I will. <laughs> um, what do you remember about this game, Nolan? Uh, well, my brother it was shit. <laughs> worked at Babbage's at the time. When this was coming out, so about two months before it came out, this was back when working at video game stores was awesome because uh, <laughs> Capcom would send early copies of games for the store employees to play, mm-hmm. so they could That's talk awesome. about the game. So we we played this two months before it came out. Oh snaps! Um, and oh yeah, it was uh, we played the crap out of it. I don't think we finished it because we also played Devil Make May Cry a couple of months before it paid out. Play it came out too, um, but. Uh, like Capcom but, was hooking y'all up. You know what yeah, I'm saying, yeah, but yeah, it was, it was like this game was so cool. Um, you know, didn't know what to think about it, but it was a Capcom game. It was PS2, and you know, the artwork on the back of the box looked pretty cool. Yep. So, but yeah, just playing it was like, man, this is this is like Resident Evil, but with swords. Yes, I would have never guessed this was a a zombie game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. yeah. From the cover, all you see is samurai stuff. Yeah. Yeah, shortly. I've into, never played this. So, shortly into the game, like Steve was talking about the opening sequence, he's they're fighting like other people, and then fairly quickly into to that, you're like, nope, nope, the real enemy ain't people; it's zombies yeah. and monsters. Yeah, because you're trying to take down Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda. He's always causing some shit. Yeah, <laughs> he's always. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always so funny that he's depicted in these game stories, and then you read his actual history, and it's like he wasn't even. Wasn't even around for that long. No, nah, but he was. But he he made some things happen. <laughs> According I mean, to these stories, I mean, really, I mean, he he unified if, Japan and then it broke basically right back apart. Really, but. if you think about it, though, it, was he around for a very long time? Because we're still talking about it. I mean, still making games about it. Lives this on. is true. Yeah. Um, it's funny when the re-release of it came out recently, mm-hmm. like on Steam and Switch and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was watching folks play. I had played this game in decades. And I forgot how many, uh, I forgot how many pu- puzzles there were in this game. Mm-hmm. I, I said, like, oh, I don't even remember this puzzle. Oh, I don't even remember that puzzle. No Good Lord, there's so many puzzles. Man, and, it, and it's like, <laughs> some of them be on timers. Yes. And it's like, you, it's an instant death. Like, if you don't finish the puzzle in time, you die. And you have to reload yeah, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and get back to there that area. There was a couple area. of those. I was watching folks play the game for the first time. And I'm like, I don't even remember this puzzle. And yeah, I would have died too. I I have no idea what to do. The number of times that there are spikes coming down or spikes coming from the sides or Mm -hmm. like, it's like, come on, man. Water filling up a room or something. Yeah, it's all of these, like, (laughs) all of these, these, these booby traps everywhere. And then, like, you could tell it's definitely a Resident Evil game because the number of journal entries, um, the base healing item is a herb. Like, like there are a bunch of nods back to it. Um, You don't get any, like, uh, itchy hungry or whatever. Yeah. But, you know. It's still you can see like as he's creating all these different demons, they have their own little personalities. If you if you really like read all the journals, because you have like the base zombies, then you have the ones that look like um, look like lizards. Yeah. Then you have the ninja ones. Then you have the yeah. big warthog ones. You got the oni looking ones. Yeah, like there's a bunch of different ones that you would cross. The uh the big giant floaty one that's like a bunch of heads and like a brain, and it steals the uh, souls from you if you don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um. They make a big deal every time you get a new weapon, and when you level the weapons up, they change. Um, 
Well, actually, on this one, I don't think they change like visually, but your moves, your special moves that you get with them, they change every time you level them up. I think that's in, in two and three where they start visually changing as you level them yeah. up. Yeah, I think so. Hey, speaking yeah, of see, puzzles. these puzzles, I, yeah. I, I'm never good at these. I mean, I don't know why. You got three tries. Mm-hmm. No. Never mind. Well, the, the good thing about those was like, if you get it wrong, then you just redo it. Yeah. And like, so it was just, eventually, yeah. I'm going to get it right. Hey, you got a rope ladder. Now, there are like, Items that are not necessarily for completing the game, you can lock yourself out of those. Then they usually oh, yeah. have like a, um, they usually have a training area because you use the souls that you get from killing the demons in order to strengthen your weapons and your armor. Kind of like um, a like a souls game. Yeah, actually, yeah. There's, I mean, it's, that's the RPG element of it. There's, uh, there's usually like a place that you can find at some point in the game where you, this creepy dude kind of hangs upside down oh, in like God, a cocoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that do. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll take you to the training areas. But the bad thing again is if you go to the training areas and you die, you got to reload the game. So, <laughs> you know, you could go down there and end up using half your items trying to get through the, the optional areas or, you know. Oh, that's the one where you keep going down. Yeah. Further, further. Yeah. We did not finish the game the first time. That was like the first game we actually felt like we wanted to do every single thing in mm-hmm. it. And we went all the way down there and it's definitely worth doing all of that. Oh yeah, me. yeah. Just just the XP you get, alone. You get the so I forgot what sword it was, mm-hmm. but like everything is like one one hit kills now. Yes. It's just like, oh, oh yeah, this is this is so every time we went back and played the game as soon as we could do that part, yep. We did it. <laughs> gives you a certain level of uh, of uh, of confidence moving through the rest of the game. Yeah, because there it, are times where you could get low on 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 healing items. You can get like the the enemies aren't dropping any health. Like there's some some tough times in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, it's just like Resident Evil. Yes, you find find yourself in a t- tight spot. Yep. And the, like I said, the enemies they hit hard and they they do their best to try to surround you. That was always the thing. Mm-hmm. It was like you see three of those little grunts and all of a sudden they start flanking you. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, so like the enemies they aren't really slow like in Resident Evil, especially starting out. Well, yeah, I think you don't have to worry about ammo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they had to change it somehow. Because yeah. it'd probably be really easy if they were slow like you, Resident Evil. Yeah. I mean, in only Moosha 3, you do get to use a gun, and let me tell you, it is so easy. <laughs> Just la 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 la. Does it turn into a Resident Evil at that point? No, because they only let you use the gun for a very short, short little period. Um, like in theory, the person you're playing with doesn't have all the powers of the the Onis, but the gun just makes it to where it's like, well, I mean, I don't know if I need. Yeah, you to. got a you know spirit sucking gauntlet, but I got guns. So. Yeah, literally, they give you an M4. Sweet. Yeah, it's like ah, I kind of oh. just want to keep using the gun. I don't want to use this this mystical whip. But yeah, if you get a chance to, like Nolan said, they put they did the um, the HD. Like it's not one of those like complete remakes. It's they cleaned up everything. The controls are a little bit better. I mean, it's still probably tanky. It right here, huh? Huh? I think that's what they're playing right now. Yeah, I probably, think so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, some backgrounds look a little too clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They look a little too crisp. Yeah, not not. Yeah, this ground. is the HD remake. All right. and it's widescreen too. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Yeah, this is also back in the era where this voice uh, English voice acting still sucked. I mean, yeah. I mean, it ain't the best, but it's it's Jube. it's Jube. not good. Nah, I still, I, you know, I I love it, man. Like I really do. Like There's I understand. A amount of cheese to it. Yeah, you know, it it, it kind of just because I don't want it to be super like super real because no, because if he, if they got really good actors and it's all super serious and stuff, then I'm gonna start getting like too scared. Exactly, okay? exactly. I need somebody to keep me from getting too too brought into. I it. need to be just a little bit goofy. Yes. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so it's goofy and then just bad. Bad. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do like if you somehow play this game and you like it, uh there's three more after this. Four. And well, and then you have like Onimusha Tactics. Five. Five. Five yeah. yeah, so you got the Onimusha one, two, and three. Uh one and two have I mean one and three have Samanosuke. Um two, two has Jubei and then uh Four had Donna Dreams has uh, Oki, who was actually in uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Yep. Yes. Uh, or Soki, I'm sorry. Soki. Soki. Yeah. yeah. And then you have Tactics, which basically is like the uh, team up of all of them, plus new characters, because you come across like Samanos, Jubei, and all of those. Um, and then there is the, uh, before there was a thing of Smash Brother clones. Yep. There oh, is Oni Musha yeah. Blade Warriors, yeah. which to me, hey, we, yeah, that was pretty good. That's game. pretty good game. Pretty good now game. it does suffer from the thing that Stephen and Nolan hate for some reason, which is pressing the button to change where you look. Well, I gotta press and the button to change. You gotta change planes. 
which I thought Nolan would like that because he played Fatal Fury, but you know whatever. Um, That's what they do in Fatal Fury. Yeah. So there, there's there's about five games in the series. Good luck finding Onimusha tactics. I tell you that now. I think I have tactics. Do you? I think I do. Can we have it? Yeah, can I have? I'm gonna play it. No, oh, that's messed up. No, I don't even I, know where it is. I know you're not gonna play. I know it. I got the guide for it. God. But yeah, great series. Um, um, shoot, I remember um, Onimusha three. I love John Reno, I love that game because a lot of folks didn't like Onimusha two. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And we didn't get it for a while after it came out for some reason. I guess we were probably still in college or whatever. But I remember finally playing it, kind of going into it, thinking, "Well, I, I heard." Oh, yeah, I did, because I, I ended up not playing it until after I played Devil May Cry 2 as well, mm. which was a... Another mm. one that a lot of people didn't like. Oh, no, that game was not good. There's a lot of stuff not, going on in Capcom. Not at all. There's a lot of stuff going on in Capcom around the time of yeah. Devil May Cry 2. So I went in the Onimusha 2 thinking, you know, folks aren't really liking it that much. It might, it might be just as bad. But you know what? Onimusha 2, I, I enjoyed Onimusha 2 a lot. Mm. Um, I know folks were upset that he wasn't... Ended anymore. It was it was a different character, but mm-hmm. I, but I I thought the story was good and the uh, characters and everything. But then um oh the, I was showing Warlords. That, that's the first. Yes, yeah, first. first one. One. Oh okay. okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You good? You good? Um. But then I remember finishing the game, and then the little cutscene there yes. to the end where you see um Samanosuke like. Well, I can't remember exactly what happened. One of some demons about to attack somebody, and then all of a sudden he they, turns they the- get something, and, and you see his gauntlet suck, suck up the souls, and it's yep. like, oh, he's going to be back. Yep. And then only Musha 3. You you talk about an intro. Oh, yeah. That, that intro it's was long. like, because it, it came right at, right at the end of the PS2's life cycle. Right. Oh, yeah. And all I the remember at, and at the time, it was on the news it looked so good. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing it like on... Um, Talking about the face scans and all that like, stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm CBS even the news or something like everybody was just like oh my god look this looks so real which is funny if you look at it now but um, it did look real shut up but no it looked no it no it looked really good and I, I I remember I bought that game and I remember watching the intro just play over and over and over again it's like oh this is so awesome no it, it really is um and so. then Dawn of Dreams I think they took like it, it doesn't look as good as three because of the like the multiplayer well, yeah yeah it, yeah but. Yeah. They end up having to put it on two disc because it was also like it wasn't all pre rendered backgrounds either. Was it? Yeah, a lot of a lot of the cutscenes are in game cutscenes. But yeah, they, they I mean, j- part two, um, Larry was the one that convinced me to play because I had heard the same thing. It was like it's not one. You're not playing the same main character. It's it's a you know the way people kind of received it at the time was it's a side story. Yeah. And then uh, Larry was like, "No, man, you got to play it. Like it's it's nah, it's really good." And I'm like, "What's good?" <laughs> so he let me borrow, and I played it, and I was like, "Ah, uh, this is my favorite one now." <laughs> like I like like Jubei is my favorite protagonist from the series. Yeah, I thought he was great. And they they mentioned him several times in three, mm-hmm. um, saying that like he went into hiding, but like yeah, yeah he did his thing. Nobunaga's real mad because now he knows it's two of it was multiple onis. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, two was just John another Reno. story of what Jubei did in that twenty something year span of his, like the actual Jubei, where nobody knows where he went. Mm-hmm. He he worked for the Shogun, he trained other samurai, and then he just disappeared. Mm-hmm. And then like twenty something years after, he just showed back up, and I mean, no one knows what he did. So uh, that that's why there's always so many stories about yeah. him. I was I was fighting you know onis and I mean some demons and yeah. like, you know I got a, I got a gauntlet for a little while. And, but yeah, Onimusha series, fantastic. Uh, it would be really, really cool if Capcom does something with the series besides uh, a remake. I mean, like a re-release. A remake would be really cool. A remake would be cool. Um, like in the vein of Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah uh, brother. If they mm. just look, just show, just show Samanosuke cut cut a, a demon in half, suck up a soul. That'll keep me satiated for at least three years. Easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll yeah. wait. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm good. Yeah. Now it's in awesome development. We're fine. We're good. He sucked up the thing. I saw it. <laughs> 4K. <laughs> We're going to suck him up in 4K. Oh, man. Hey, hey. now. Hey. Hey, hey now. <laughs> hey, now. I'm going to be all around <laughs> you. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the banger of the week. Find it, steam it. It's really cheap, too. So you see, yeah, you can buy physical copies cheap. You can get the, the HD remake. Yeah, if you find it on like the PS4 or or on Steam, it's usually not too or PC in general is usually not too much. 
If I had copy and play, woo. Oh, sorry about that, but that's fine. Now we got some we got some trailers and whatnot. Like I said, we're getting ready for Gamescom, so they usually start trickling them out right beforehand. Yeah, um, it was seemed like it was an influx of. I'm expecting trailers. a Street Fighter Six trailer. We'll see for Terry maybe this weekend. Yeah, because he's supposed to be playable Ooh. there. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. So, and yes. the last time they had a character playable at a show, it was either Ed or Akuma, but they did the trailer the week before, like right the the yeah. end of the week before. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't surprise me if a Terry trailer came out between now and next week. Before we get into uh, the trailers, though, uh, Tango Tango Works Game Works Game Shops. <laughs> Game works, I think. Yeah. yeah, creators of High Five Rush. Remember that game that got shadow dropped, and uh, they found out the shadow dropping games that they've put a massive amount of money into developing. Probably ain't the best idea. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best idea. They acted like they were Beyonce or something. They did. They were like, "Go ahead and release it on them right now," and everybody was like, "Woo!" But also, we probably playing some other stuff, right? Because it came out right before that influx of what would be like all the game of the year contenders. Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. the worst time. Yeah, yeah. It was like it was like April of twenty three. And then it was like, oh yeah, because Zelda's coming out and then everything That's else. probably why they shot a drop, they're like, you know what, we gotta release this now. Yeah. Otherwise we're gonna have to wait like I just eight months. I don't understand why they didn't it's like I don't know. At least like give it a month they, to build up or well, something. Yeah, they should have built that game up because I think it could have been a Well, it showed a preview, right? Like they showed a preview before that shadow drop, right? No. That was the only trailer? That, that was the first time they ever showed the game. E- so, oh, this looks cool. <laughs> oh, it's out now. E- it's like, I feel like this should have been your main event game. Now he's going to talk to you about Forza about Motorsport. This a few months ago. No, we're going to talk to you about Forza Motorsport. Uh, we got... Uh, and Redfall. Microsoft Flight Simulator 20, 2023. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what... Yeah. You know 2024 is coming out, though. Yeah. Quite Don't a hot Hellblade. Quite a hot You said which one? Don't forget Hellblade. Oh, we got Hellblade. Well, that's, that, coming out, <laughs> that's coming out like six months, right? It'll, it'll be hey, it's coming out soon, isn't it's it? Coming out soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> coming you know, soon. What? I, I still I still have to play the game. I, I do need to sit down and give it time because I don't doubt that the game is a fantastic experience. I just really felt bad the fact that they were hinging a lot. It felt like they were putting a lot of eggs in the Hellblade basket, and I just didn't think that it was a game that could carry. It's no. weird because it, they like moved on from it. Like, oh wait, we have a bunch. Of, we actually have a bunch of really good shit coming out because mm-hmm. they had that like right after what. Yeah, some of games they had that really killer showcase. So. Yes, it's like they Nobody's knew. Out some time, though. <laughs> and they knew when it came out game. that it came out too late, so they were going to try and push it. Yeah, they they definitely didn't. Because I mean, they, I like, didn't even know it came out until everybody was until playing it on Summer Steam of Games. We, we got you, dude. And if they that delivered, game, if it would have been a launch title, yeah. I think it was a fantastic launch title. Oh yeah. But yeah, by the time it was here, it's like now they now they're moving games around because they have too much, like Avowed and, and Fable and all that, getting kind of pushed back to stretch out some of the some of the hits to let them let them breathe by themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, they definitely didn't have that problem when when they first announced Hellblade. No, I don't know. It just Hellblade just doesn't seem like the blockbuster type game. It is. It's especially not the, well, if you're I kind mean, of familiar yeah. with the It's not suit. the killer app. No, no it's not. No. And it's like even if it was a straight up action game, I mean, which has got a lot of action in it, but it's got a lot of It's a game about mental health and, and yeah, schizophrenia. So it's not really mm-hmm. I don't think a lot of people want to play that. <laughs> well, I mean like well, I mean this the second game has more action in it. Yes. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think they kind of want to make it a little bit broader appeal yeah. too. Uh and it's actually a a neat little story in it as well. But I remember the biggest complaint was, God, it's so short. It's like, well, if he didn't play the first game, first game. Well, that's the other thing, too, is I first game was kind of short. Well, because people see it and it looks, and I know this is bad, but we got to be honest about how people look at stuff, right? Visually. No, I know what you're saying, yeah. The God of War thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but it's not God of War. It never was going to be good. It was never going to be God of War. It it has similar themes because of the characters that it's using. Yeah, it's it's Norse-based like the last couple God of Wars, but it's not that. It's, it's not that. But it's like a, it's like a woman got a war, right? Yeah, yeah, because she's fighting no, behind no. the cameras behind the shoulder. Yeah, no. no, I played it and it wasn't like God of War, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't understand what they was doing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. But anyway, yeah, they got some stuff coming. I'm excited to see what what's coming out from Microsoft as we uh, get to light game. I mean, all the all the. I mean, shoot, it's really only Microsoft and Capcom are the only kind of big companies at Gamescom. So yeah, the floor is all theirs, just about. The, the the I thought about that because I usually watch 
was it Saturday or Sunday when they do the the the, the awards? Mm-hmm. I remember last year Nintendo won a bunch. It's like it was like three or four companies won like all of the dang awards. This year is just going to be probably a Microsoft game or a Capcom game. <laughs> There'll Which, be a bunch of uh, smaller companies there yeah. too, though. So that's that's what actually what I'm kind of excited about is, hey, well, at least the smaller companies get more room to show their stuff. Yeah, because that's Sony's, always good. Sony's not going to be there. Nintendo's not going to be there. Ubisoft uh, is in the corner licking his wounds. I don't think Sega's going to be there either. And everybody's kind of expecting them to with all the yeah. new stuff. Well, Sega's making. got like six games to make, man. We ain't got time for that, bro. Well, I, where's where's uh, no, that's but, Atlas, the the Fantasio re Fantasio. Mm-hmm. But it makes me. That's the name. It kind of makes me more excited. I, I wonder if a lot of these companies were waiting. Well, not Nintendo, but I wonder if since, um, um, to- Tokyo Game Show is a thing now again, because it wasn't for years, and yeah. then like last year. That's September, right? Yeah, yeah. And is they like, waiting? All, all of a sudden, last year Tokyo Game Show was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, I had enjoyed a Tokyo Game Show since like two thousand eight. <laughs> It feels like. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time. It's like, been a long time. Nobody was doing, doing anything at them. They were just like, they would happen. Well, yeah, folks started just, just wasn't doing anything. I think Sony left it for a while, and then it was just like, yeah, because what for a few years, it was just like, it's all right, it's time to sit down and watch to- Tokyo Game Show. Oh, it's just the same, like, 26 trailers playing over and over and over again on Twitch. That's, yes. That's really the whole they had, show. Yeah, they had them on repeat. Yeah, it's like all that. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool, though. Just doesn't have the same. But uh, Just doesn't hit the same. But this past year was really good. And so may, maybe Sony will show, show some stuff that if they have anything else besides Concord. Maybe. <laughs> hey, man. Look. Hey, don't you want to see some more Concord? <laughs> so first and foremost, Concord always has a roadmap with multiple character releases yeah. and new maps. They got Apparently, plans, they have though. variants mm-hmm. of characters. So I'm assuming there's some slight differences in how they play. Very yeah, that's what that's what the thing said. It said they're all gonna play the same. <laughs> Nobody's gonna play it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hate it for them because it looks like they clearly spent way too much money on that. That that one feels like it was supposed to be the crown jewel of all of their of their uh um uh games as a ser- service push. Yeah, all these games as a services were gonna come out, and you know we'll we'll do hell divers over here. That'll that'll be fine on its own, I guess. Funny thing is, the one that they obviously cared the least about turned out to be the biggest yeah. hit, and the one that they obviously put, put the most all the into, time and care, nobody cares into, bro, at all. <laughs> like, I just, I just would want to know, like internally, like where the decision was to be like we're back in Concord as the game. That well, it was years ago because they this was back when like around when the PS Five was coming out. Yeah, that Sony was like, this is it. You know everything is every everything moving forward is going to be a games as a service. These these big sprawling story based games are costing way too much money. We need constant money coming in. I mean, look what SquareSoft is doing with the um, with the Avengers games over there. They're killing it. Are, are they? they? <laughs> hey, Spider Man still uh, wasn't out yet. Yeah. I how, know. Long, how long did that? Uh, what, what was the Final Fantasy Seven based live service game? Damn, what was that like? First Soldier or something? Oh, you talking oh. about the one that was on the phones? Yeah, the, I think that was a cell phone game, wasn't it? Was it a cell like phone? Re, game? Like so. re-memories or something? I don't know, but it lasted for like no. I think it was like first soldier or something. It's three something, something like that. Yeah, it didn't last very long. Yeah, yeah. Why you didn't play it? Because I didn't want to. Why you Why you didn't play it and put money into it? <sighs> because that's the problem with live service games. That's you can't problem. play I, them all. You I can't think, put money in all of yeah, them. Yeah, I think folks find the one or two that they want to play and just stick with those. That's it's it. usually the ones and unless that, it's something that you know is. Really, something somebody wants to play because I mean, if Avengers didn't work, if Final Fantasy didn't work, it's like then they just didn't have the right like, formula. Oh, 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 it wasn't oh. about the IP; it was the right formula. Oh, of course. Well, let me ask y'all this: Do you think it's a bad idea for a live service game to have a price of entry? Yes. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> well, not just not just how <laughs> they <laughs> perform, but like I mean, the only one I could think of recently was uh, DKO. Yes. I guess first Overwatch, but that was successful. Yes, it was, and that's my well, point. Well, yeah, they had a they had a point of entry, right? It $60. was a regular it was sixty dollar game. Yeah, but it was also kind of yeah, the original like the first Overwatch. One, right? Yeah, when the original Overwatch came out, it was kind of riding yeah. the wave of well, we were making the StarCraft game, but but we made this instead. Also, there was a and everybody kind of checked it out. Like, oh, this month. is fun, and then kind of stuck with it. But then over time, kill, other, my, kill Battleborn for that. What about other things? The came first, out. the first Sorry, Overwatch. 
<laughs> were all the characters unlocked when you bought it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, there weren't there weren't any there weren't there wasn't any battle pass. So the original version there was no battle pass. It was you got a box every time you loaded it. It wasn't up. it wasn't made as a live service game. It was just made as a multiplayer. Well, you could buy loot right? boxes. Yeah, you could buy loot boxes. You could also earn them though. You could also so, yeah, earn you, you could just earn them every yeah. time you leveled up and then they would give you every so often they would give out loot boxes for free. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, they started adding that you could buy the loot boxes, but then I think I don't think that's a a um a real model anymore. Yeah. No. I mean, unless so you're making unless you're, unless you're making little cheap cell phone games and yeah. I well, think loot I boxes cheap, is you know, fine. I mean, just more I'm saying like the the barrier to entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I don't think a lot of people are doing loot boxes right now. No, I think well, they, they end up being a, a lot, lot of negative of backlash. Have, yeah, a lot of folks, have, a lot of because I don't think you can do them in Europe anymore. Those. Can you? Yeah, there's parts of Europe and Asia that you just can't do them. Yeah, yeah. so they now they there's ways, there's, there's yeah there's there's ways around it because I know like in China, um, if you ever play Shenmue three. The gambling part of the game, you know, like the all, all the games in one and two. Yeah, you know, you you know, you pay money. You, see, you got to save and then go. So, but bet it re- all on black. To, to release the game in China, they had to make it to where the games. The only way those games can still be in the game to, for for Shenmue three, you have to buy tokens that you then take into the place and you spend the tokens instead of real on money. the thing. Mm. And then, yeah, instead of yeah, Trade it's, it's, it's instead money? of real in game money, that's the funny part. It's like, well, all, all right. of this is like, like, what does it matter? But is it? Are we talking about video games? Yeah, but that's the way I, it. That's the way it works. No for gambling. Some reason. Yeah, no well, gambling. I mean, China, China like, has a no gambling. Well, China, rule. China has a ton of ridiculous laws. Like you can have like skulls. Australia is right. still so kind of World of Warcraft. Really, they don't have the undead. Like it's yeah. a different race or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. none of that American skull shit. Y'all be doing. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, how yeah Australia, Australia is really strict oh, about, yeah, about violence over there, and super Germany too. I think Germany let up a are little you bit. Sure about Australia because I know they play. They have a huge GTA, but they also don't yeah. get a lot of games. But they don't get yeah, a lot of games. Yeah, certain games they just GTA don't get. GTA is pretty fucking violent. Like with a lot of stuff, a lot <laughs> of stuff GTA. that will it, be, it pierces well, the barrier. Yeah, yeah. It's GTA. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get through it. But yeah, a lot of games that would just be mature rated here. They they're just like nope. Yeah, you can't. You just can't get them. Like they weren't they weren't getting RPGs at at certain uh, certain RPGs because of the violence in it. They would just be like, "Nah, this this right here is a little too close. It's not not enough fantasy violence." So yeah, let's sit this one out. So let me ask you this: How long do you think it's going to take Concord before it goes free to play? I say by three end of months. This, yeah, by the end of this year, it'll be. Free do you to think play. they go free to play, or do they just can it? Bro, they got to. They're gonna go free to play to try to. I mean, they, free I mean, to play yeah. is on the way to being canned. Yeah, like it's it's. Oh yeah, you, it costs. 40, oh no, yeah, they'll they'll, right they'll, 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 they'll go free right to, free to play to see if it gets an influx of players, which it might. Which it, it probably will. It probably will. But then will they buy a anything? few months after that, they'll be the inevitable. Hey guys, thanks for your support, but we're shutting down service service come June, and because once you go free to play, then you got to change the. Structure of the game to generate you, money, yeah. Because now you got to start paying for stuff. Not, well, yeah, that now you got to be like, start. what about all the people that paid forty bucks for the game? We'll yeah. give you, you'll, we'll give you, you icon. You'll get in-game credit to go buy more loot boxes and stuff. Yeah, you get some icons. We'll get you the next battle pass on the house, um, not the premium battle because now we're gonna have mm-hmm. a battle pass and a premium battle open. pass. Um, well, like a free, probably three tiers: free one, regular, super, yep. super. So not S U P E R S U P A. Yes. Super. H. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. super. Super 10. Or smart, dumb, and whale. All there's, right. plenty, there's plenty of those. <laughs> we've, we've devoted way too much time for Concord. Yeah, what do you anyway. mean? People, people want to get a Concord update. Bro, I, I'm just so tired of these live services. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I mean, bro, he is, he is real. He is really y- in y'all real can't life. see it, but Zach was like <laughs> touching his forehead. He was like, a, he was distraught about it. You can, you, just, you can see I the weight on him. I don't understand why that game was fucking made the way that it was made. Because it was part of the plan, and they were obviously I, already too you deep. Gotta, you got to be able to have a plan B. They were already too deep and in it when they when when they divert. realized, uh oh, <laughs> you got to pivot, baby. Avengers did what, <laughs> bro? SquareSoft has dev- has devoted millions of dollars into making a bubble version of Splatoon. Yes, People they just be throwing money at stuff because it says live service, and they like I know they go into these meetings and they come up with these portfolios it's, it's fucking, with this estimated amounts of money it's going to generate, yeah. and water. people are like. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the market it's here. It's like the market for these games yeah. is like twelve billion dollars. If we just get two percent of this, four hundred million. These these companies are just 
they're just playing a lottery. Yeah, they're yeah. looking for the next Fortnite for the next League well, exactly. Legends, for but the, the point yeah. of entry is it's so much because it, these games and, aren't and cheap games. That, that, yeah, that's what I don't. It's like it's like these bigger companies, especially these console companies, is like that's the nasty. They part don't too. understand. Because when, when EA was doing all of their stuff with, with, with their games, I know what they were doing. They were sitting in the room. It's like, look at all these little stupid cell phone games making a billion do- dollars a month. We should, we should be able to do, do that, too. We could make a game with high quality and this, this, that, and the other. And they missed the whole point. The reason those games are making so much money is because they were free. Yeah. Yes. They are free. Flappy Bird was it a free game. nothing to get in there. Angry oh, Birds was, was a fun. free game. Oh, I can't play again until tomorrow unless I give them, well, here's, here's, here's a couple Just of bucks. Five here's. bucks. I don't yeah, know. I'm still yeah. on the toilet. <laughs> Gloop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's dumb because they, they mix these live service games in, right, in between, like, actual games that we all plan on playing or at least give a shot to. And then they, they act like, the way they respond to these games not doing well, it's like they want to be like, well, y'all didn't support it. Well, y'all did this. Y'all let this happen. Y'all let this game fail. We didn't want it. It's like, because I'm already playing Overwatch. I'm already playing Destiny. I'm already I'm playing, playing Fortnite. Genshin Impact. I said Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> Bro, I'll, slip on, I'll slip on Fortnite and get a skin. You, you like, gotta see, nothing. You gotta see what they got. I gotta check the got. shop. I, got, I, told, I told Jordan, I said, let me know when Magneto show back up. Gotta get Magneto. Yeah, okay, yeah, get Magneto. You know, they done released six versions of Deadpool. All them most be in the lobby. <laughs> We're dancing and shit. We got the sail shaded one. We got the one that, that, that look like the regular one. They got the ones got battle damage on it. But I need them. So, but yeah, I, it just it's it's bad because these are the things that take away from us getting another only Musha. Right? We can't get that because the money's being sunk into a random. It might turn into a bunch of money, but up front we gotta put won't. we gotta put fifty million into it up front, and then we gotta hope stuff goes through. I mean. Was Skull and Bone supposed to be a, a, a live service? I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't think Lord Ubisoft knows, knows, it, it wouldn't surprise me so much. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if one or two iterations of it was, especially the f- f- further into development it got. I still don't know how that just wasn't the water again, part of I think Assassin's for Creed some Four, reason, but whatever. In my mind, I remember when they were first showing it. What I was thinking it was going to be a pirate MMO. Yeah. I think I it was. It, at I, one figured, point. I, I figured it was. It was, was, it was yeah. Assassin's Creed Four with co- co-op. <coughs> there was a somebody was doing something with pirates and MMOs. I can't remember what it was. Well, they saw they saw uh, Sea of Thieves and was like, "We're gonna get that money." Maybe Sea of Thieves. And then it completely that. changed. Well, folks loved Assassin's Creed Four. It was like just do the boat stuff. That's all folks wanted. Nah, nah, y'all don't want it like that. Y'all want like we gonna show. No, you. seriously, just do the boat stuff. Hey, guys, literally all we want. <laughs> Ubisoft, please just. Just please just do the boat stuff. Just so here's what we thinking, stuff. right? Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Okay, everybody controls one they were ship. All drinking rum, making that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if we took out all the stuff about you being in the crew? Well, we took all that out, right? All right, think about this. Take all that shit out. Okay. Let you just each person control the boat. Okay, because it's kind of hard to do the crew. Is it? Yeah. So Damn. what we got now? Can we get out of the boat? Nah. 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 I mean, you kind of can. Yeah, there like is there's outside of boat stuff to go <gasps> to go shop. It's like uh, Destiny. Go oh, to like a, a hub world. world. Yeah. What yeah. about what about when I'm like looting and stuff? Do I actually get out to do that? Or no. I, okay, cool. Because that's you, what I saw. You, you put your boat up next to a tree, yep. and then you chop the tree, and then you put it up next to a rock, and then you hit the rock, and then you yeah. How much money did I pay for this game? <laughs> I mean, depending on what day of the week you bought, you might have paid ten dollars for it. Exactly. <laughs> I paid seventy dollars. You paid seventy dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't oh. buy it. No. Hell no. Oh, okay. This so, part of but the somebody skip. did. It's for the bit. Yeah. <laughs> you stick it no, hell bit. no, I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I I felt so bad for y'all because I felt like like Zach and Nolan really yeah. were looking to forward to what that game was supposed well, to be. When they first announced that shit, man, I was well, like, I'll tell you, <coughs> I played the beta. Damn, excuse me. And I enjoyed it. What was there, it wasn't you what, purchase it? what we thought it was going to be. No. <laughs> no that's all I need in here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's but why. I, that's why you solve the trouble. But I tell you, if I ended up receiving it for free, I wouldn't. I'll, I'll probably jump back into it again. I'm not going to buy it though. Are you? Are you? Uh, you e bagging right now? Just doing it out there? No. I'm just saying. You probably y'all want to throw a copy to your boy. <laughs> I'll stream it for you. Yep, there it is. I mean, I would, but <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, good luck to them. Um, yeah. Everybody else is seems good to be, luck. Yeah, seems to be rolling along. We're still getting a lot of fighting game stuff, right? In a lot of getting a lot of content. Still in the golden age. Part two. Yeah. Part Speaking two. of fine games, some of us got into two XKO. Oh he on he on he on. 
Well, I yeah, offered, that's crazy that I he offered you a code. Yeah, he did offer you a code. You yeah, tried to give want, it to I want to get the code. I want to be offered. <laughs> I didn't get it. Either. He didn't get it in either. He got my code. It's all right, brother. I uh, I played I played a little bit. Played with Young Whiskey. Shout out to Whiskey. I was given a code, and the person that gave me the code didn't even want to play with me. Bro, I did not see that. I did not oh, see come on, text. man. Why you never want to play games with us, man? I literally was stutter stepping with y'all last night. <laughs> stutter stepping. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. <laughs> Um, I appreciate that. I'll be honest with y'all, man. (laughs) To me, it feels like what DNF Duel was on the cusp of being, just as far as the entry to play. Like the the simplicity of the controls, the fluidity of the gameplay. I've seen some complaints about 2XKO. Um, I do have one complaint. Bring it to the square, man. Um, people complained about the lengthy combos that they got put in. Yeah, Some cool. people apparently didn't understand that these games have potential TOD stuff. Um, I mean, now they're all based on a lot of... Uh, That's why you got to know when to use your burst. Well, yes, yes. That, well, the, the There's going to be a clear distinction between low-level and, and high-level play, which I'm really excited to see the high-level play uh, because you still have to execute the combos. It's what I would have told uh, younger Darius about MVC3, which is... You got to appreciate people's ability to perform the that fucking wind wall. Oh, brother, the, I, I tried. So I played with Darius uh, mostly. That's been my main right now. I played with Whiskey and he played Echo. I played Darius and then I, I've tried to play. I like Echo. Echo, Echo, he's not for me, but he is bad. I is. There's, no, there's no bad character in the game. Um, Braun, I, I hate. I'm going to tell y'all now. Not because Braun is, is bad or anything, but that motherfucker is good. Um, and he covers a lot of the real estate, like a lot of real estate. Um, I hadn't played with Alawi yet, or um, or Ari. I played l- just just a little bit of Yasuo, a little bit of Echo. I played mostly Ari and uh, Echo. Yeah, the um, no, I mean it's 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 been pretty good. Even with the with some of the uh, matches that we played, where people had not so good connection, still didn't feel like there was much of an issue with the rollback. So like the money, the infrastructure, the 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 foundation for this game, it's there. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be seeing this for a while. Like this is going to be in the FGC for the foreseeable future. It's going to be. It's going to have its its core competitors. It's going to have its scene. It's going to do well. The skins are already what we talked about. So uh, I'm excited for this and look forward to playing some more. We're gonna play this weekend, Dad. So was was the was it one v one or was it two v two? Two v two v two. Okay, so I didn't know. I wasn't sure if they had that. It's both. You could do one v one. Yeah, I played by myself against two other people. No, I mean like 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 every match is still two characters versus two oh, characters. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what you meant? No, I, I was wondering if if they had the the online like squad battles. Type yeah, 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 yeah. I did that. That's oh, what I did. Which then I also played by myself. Okay. I, you played one against two. I played one against two. Okay. Nice. I played one v one, but we had two characters. Yeah, yeah. It, the the format of the game is always two characters, but yeah. yeah, you can have one player or two players on either. Yeah, side. I wasn't sure if they had had that. In, Version running yet, or if it was they just actually like, had a tournament a couple of days ago of a two. It was a t- two players versus two players. Okay. That's, and that's what I'm excited one, for. They're having one this week, weekend too before it ends. So no yeah. shit, y'all better start training. I mean, I'd run it like it's just to me. It's just fun. Like that was when I played it uh, with whiskey. I'm like, this is what I want to see from the competitive scene. It's two v two. I know that you know people being able to control both characters works out better for execution and stuff. But I like the potential randomness of. People doing stuff because like I had to apologize early when I was trying to come out and do assist. I was get I was getting a happy birthday at every time. So are you controlling when you come out to assist? Yes. Oh, wow. like you press the button when you want to come out and do your assist, and you have to decide if you're pressing forward or back to do the different assist that you get. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Oh are yeah, you doing oh, he was like, <laughs> bro, and whiskey's so nice. Uh, he's like, he's just a really like nice dude. So I was clearly messing up, and he would just be like, yeah, you probably shouldn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't wait next time. For Shout you out to Whiskey. He's, he's always been a yeah, yeah, big supporter of us. Fine young man. Um, but yeah, so it, it, to me, that that randomness of like them having to make the decisions versus you, because I think it'll be kind of like hard to be like, that do it now. Much. Yeah. Do it now. Do the assist now. And uh, But the, the, the lobbies and stuff, it works pretty well. I mean, I would want to see what the private lobbies are like because that's the other thing I didn't get a chance to check out. Uh, we were just going into the main ones. And I don't think there's any offline mode right now. I think so. I think you just have to have multiple controllers plugged in. Really? Yeah. yeah cool. So we can okay, like so if y'all come over, we can play. Yeah. If you do casual, you could fill up the the uh, like if you do a private match, you could fill up who's where. Like all on one console. Yeah, I think so. Or one computer. I mean, we get, we got to check to find out, but I'm pretty sure you could from what I was seeing. 
So judging by that UI, mm-hmm. how many characters is it looking like? Right, let's go back. Um, sixteen. Oh, oh shit! Look. And you get the I mean, another thing is you you yeah. use uh credits. Yeah, it's probably gonna be. 16. But it could it could be wider. Oh, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, gonna, be it's gonna keep going. Um, you get in game credits by just playing the game, and you use that to buy the colorways and the skins and all that stuff. Um, and the battle pass right now is just free. I'm not sure if it's gonna be free on release. Probably not. But, probably but not. you get skins within the battle pass as well. I'm sure they're gonna sell skins individually. Um, it's gonna be you know similar to league in that regards. I'm sure the new champion will be at the end of the battle pass, or or at the beginning, or at the beginning. Probably, yeah, probably the beginning if you want to just get it right there. Probably the way they should do it, and what a lot of games are doing now is you get if you buy the battle pass, you get whatever character it is, Mm -hmm. and at the end of the battle pass, you get a cool skin skin for that character. Yep, like an ultimate skin. Yeah, Yeah. one of those, not just a colorway type of thing. Um, I think, I mean, like I said, I think with with it being. League has such a, a a format already in place for a lot of this, uh, the like you know non the, the 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 skin stuff right. It's there. The character list. I mean, we've we've talked about it a dozen times. It's it's ripe for just more stuff. Big like, Darius, do that move, boy. I mean, <laughs> Braum is a character I didn't think would be in it. Exactly. So that leaves you hope with characters that you might not. Was think Braum uh, pretty popular in League? I, I think in the Lords, he seems to be very popular because they put him in a lot of not league stuff. So, like, he's a big yeah, part of Ruin true. King. Yeah. He's, yeah. um, wasn't he? No, no, not that. I was going to say he was in Arcane. I'm like, no, nah, he's not in Arcane. No, he's not. Um, he was in something else that was not a league, like, not a part of the individual League of Legends. Well, I know he's a, I don't know. He's he's in a lot of lore stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I think he's, uh, I think we'll see him a lot. Damn. Oh, you feel badass pulling them combos off. And they're really not that hard. Like, it's it's literally a lot of them is, um, you know, light, medium, heavy. I, I was having to get used to controls because um, the way that fight pad I have is, is mm-hmm. I kept hitting. So X or A is the special one. B is special two. And then it's, you know, um, uh, X, Y, and then R, R bumper or, or, or R1 is the heavy strike. And all strike. the specials are like a direction in the special, kind of like Smash. It's, it's uh, down, down. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you cool. press down, down, uh, special one. To no, that's do for the, like the, old, the super moves. The super I'm talking moves, about like yeah. just your special. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're just. They're yeah. like, it's like, it's like Smash. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's either A or B and then and a direction. direction. Yep. Okay. And then they change in the air and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, like you can, like you, you'll be able to feel, figure out the battle system really quick. It's just figuring out who you want to use. Um even like the the character moving around, so like, so that's I, my issue with the game. What I think the walk speed is way too fucking slow. Yeah, they want you to dash. It's yeah. clear they want you to dash a lot. Um, like yeah, bro, I didn't realize how slow Yasuo moved. Like his actual walk everybody, speed. everybody walks like they're in molasses. Yeah, but then when you dash, you're fast. Yeah, so yeah, they they could they could they could definitely increase because if you like even the, the the footage that we got, they're using dash all the time. Yeah, like, they're always mean, running. That seems like something they could pretty they could fix pretty easily if yeah. they need to or yeah. adjust pretty easily. I mean, I'll get more excited when, whenever they I f- find a character that I like. I mean, I like them, but I'm just not particularly you, excited. You to, need a. I think if you play, it, you'll find a character you like. Yeah, I think yeah. you. I think you will. I didn't think I was gonna like Ari or Echo, and I like them. Duck that boy! Wow. So, you, do you get a chance to play it at all, Nolan? I know you got a code. I played it for about an hour. Yeah, it's about, I probably played maybe the, two hours. The day after I told you I got it. Yeah. Because apparently I had it a couple, for a couple of days and didn't know it. I looked at my emails like, what's this? Oh, crap. Um, told you I was going to have I told you he was going to get in. Oh. I was surprised I got my invite. I was like, I got to that. <laughs> no, I probably would have got it if I didn't get yours. Yeah. Um, Eventually. Yeah, I think you would have. Because they were supposed to be doing another round of keys this week. So, but yeah, I played it for, got for about an hour. And I, I, for. I didn't really like it to be honest. Now oh, I had issues with it too. My stick apparently doesn't work with it. Really? And my controller didn't work too well with it. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I've had to, I had to like customize my buttons. Every it time was... I w- it wouldn't even let me customize the the buttons. Like every time I go to options, it keeps wanting to go up. Like no matter what I did, I I, I unplugged every controller and just tried to do it with the keyboard, and I would go down and try to change something, and it it kept wanting to go up. Yeah, it. it I restarted the computer. I, I pulled the, the keyboard out and put it back in. Yeah, uh, it was it was a nightmare. So I had to eventually did get it to 
finally go to the default stick controls, mm-hmm. which I didn't care for at all. Um, but so that I spent almost half an hour dealing with that. So uh, like you already actual, negative on it. Well, at that point, yeah. So I only got about uh, maybe well, maybe sucks. about half an hour of actual playtime with it. Um, and then I I feel the same way I felt playing um, uh, Grand Blue. I knew he was gonna say that. I was I was gonna let you let you, where you was talking. I'm like, why he say Grand Blue? Yeah, and I definitely I agree. Which is funny because I did like. DNF duel, mm-hmm. but this one feels even simpler than that. It yeah, is duel was fun, and as it, it, it was just so boring. And you also had, but but no you lore. know, I'm I'm coming from you know Street Fighter, where you're doing you know motions and stuff. It's like I kind of wish I had the is. option. Yeah, that, you know, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm glad I wish you said I could that. do Hadoukens and Shurukens. Yeah, because because it, it's like the motions and the I buttons, want to do them the, when I'm the, doing moves. Yeah, the motions and the buttons are fine, um, but it's it's. It just it just feels too simple. Mm-hmm. It's like you got to give me something, which is one thing that Grand Blue did a pretty good job of. He, you had you know just press buttons and cool stuff come comes comes out. This one does that even further yes. though. But I think it I, I think it's too much. Well, personally, I, it, it feels like playing Street Street Fighter Six on um not uh, modern not the, modern but the, the other one yeah the um, beginner um, is it beginner no casual. Might be casual, yeah. Something like casual. that. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Where, where you just seriously just press square. And it does all this amazing stuff and ends at a level three combo. And But it's like, but I just hit one button. Yeah. And Hold on, let me, let me, let me ask you this, man. Man. Is it is it that is that the reason? Or is it just because you don't like League of Legends? Well, I think that's part of it, too. I have absolutely no affinity for any of these characters. Yes. No love for them. I have never played a League game in my life. So, so I was like, oh, God, I'm finally playing Braum. But no. <laughs> so that that didn't hook me, but I don't need that to hook me. I never played any of the DNF games or nothing like that either, or whatever it's, it's DNF. Called. But um um, but I do. I, I, tomorrow, I, I, I've I've been saying this for the last two weeks. I'm doing nothing but playing games tomorrow because I I don't have anything on my calendar for I tomorrow. It so when far. I see it, yeah. But so far, it's been man. These last two months have been crazy. But anyway. Um, I, I, I really do want to sit down and actually give it a chance if my controller works and it lets me set my buttons because I know exactly how I want my buttons to be set, but it won't let me set them. Yeah. And I know it's an alpha, you know, something they'll fix because yeah. I, I, I think it's just a issue with my stick. It probably just not compatible with it. At least at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there'll definitely be some updates and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, just just so from about the half hour of actual gameplay time I actually had with it. Um, I just feel like it's it's a little too simple, but I don't want to say that it's like oh it's too simple I'm never going to play it. I, I want to you know give get give myself a chance to get in and kind of you know learn some things because because I'm sure there are things I've seen the you know long combos and that's one of the big complaints I heard too is like everybody's like yeah the combos are way too too long. Mm-hmm. Well, like, I think, just like when um, well, I think and I think those combos aren't. Aren't the one button combos? Those are people actually know. Well, what yeah, doing. yeah, because because I because because I did I did figure out a couple of things like starting with the light combo with Brahm, and but when he when you cancel into the air, mm-hmm. you can cancel that into different combos into this into mm-hmm. this. So I figured out a couple of things, but uh, but it still felt just there's like no timing to it. Yeah, it's, th- it's, it's 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 still just mash 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 link mash 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 mash. So. I think, and that, that's going to be the biggest thing for them to figure out the balance of. And I think the people that they've put in charge and the resources that they'll have, they'll figure out the balance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they were, you could tell that there was a big focus. In, and I know this game has been in development for a long time. And I think that they didn't have Street Fighter to kind of model out how to get the the levels of, of, of different levels of players. They were thinking, like, how do we get league players to, yeah, well, yeah. To, to be able to play oh, this I'm, game I'm, from I'm the sure beginning. I'm sure that's the yeah. I'm sure that's the the goal. Riot focus. That's yeah. The riot. The thing that Riot probably told mm-hmm. them, like. And 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 there's nothing wrong with that. Plant these players. Yeah. yeah. And they're used to that. they're used to you know hitting hitting a, a set list of of commands and all of this stuff happening. Um, so yeah. yeah, there is a it. it and so I mean, I mean that's just a personal thing with with me, and I can't put my finger on why I didn't mind it so much in DNF. Although DNF, well DNF has DNF some was things. simple, but it had. 
it, it feels like it was more stuff in it because this this game feels like it has Didn't stuff DNF in it. Didn't DNF have Hadoukens though? It did. It that did. Was a, that was the thing. It has actual input, like yeah. commands, not just you. Well, you could do motions and then the the special button to do certain things. But if you did the if it, it like just down in the, the command would do something down uh, left and right. But if you did the motions for certain things, because I know I, I played with um, the dude with the hammer. Uh huh. And if you did some of his moves, like the actual motion of it, you got a more powerful version. Yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they 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 could do they could use something like that. They also have. Which we'll have to have like more players kind of play and figure out what the perks are. Each of the the different um, modes you could pick from because mm-hmm. there's the there's the burst one, there's the auto combo one, there's the one that like me and Whiskey we play. He always picked the you get two assists per interaction instead of one, which means that you can extend combos even further. Because mm-hmm. um, I would do like the Darius shoulder tackle to either bounce him off the wall or the pool. And I would go in and, like, he would be in the middle of a combo. I would go in and extend it and let him do, like, the echo jump and leave a shadow while I pulled him. And then he could go in and do stuff. And So there's a lot of different ways to use those different things. And they could probably add I think more. the complexity of the game probably comes in the 2v2. Yes. When, yeah. you're, when you're playing with a, a partner. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I don't think they have to stop with what the, the, the systems that they have already. No. What's, there's nothing stopping them from adding other versions and, like I said, figuring out balances. Oh, yeah. And, um, and, and this is still, you know, an early release build of it, too. So, I mean, because folks are saying they, they changed stuff. Oh, they changed Ari from completely. Here. Yeah, from, like, you know, the last time they even showed the game. What? So She used to have was, a... Uh, no, no, I mean, when did they show that? When did they have the big play test? It was uh, Evo. Was it Evo last year or something? It was, it was late. I want to say it was late no, last year. It was Evo last year. Yeah. Was it? Was it first, has the first, it been since Evo was, last year? That was yeah. Evo last year. Was the first test that they well first time they let people play let, it. Let folks play it. Yeah. And, and so yeah, the, and ours changed since then. Yeah. She had a. You had to manage. You only got like ten orbs per round, mm-hmm. and you had to manage those. And then they end up taking that out for her because they said she sucked after her ten orbs was gone. Which I can understand. It makes sense. Yeah, because like her having an orb count the and then Yasuo doing that all day, bro. Oh my God, ain't nobody weak in the game. That's the thing is no, there's no weak character right now. Um, it's just how you want to play, and you could you could see like fairly easily the higher level like skill wise. Like you said, the long combos, you can tell people who know how to execute versus people who are just getting into it now. If you have at least some bases in in fighting games, you'll be able to start figuring out some longer combos fairly early because to Nolan's point, it li- it is literally just like there is no – you're not worried about frame windows. Yeah, It's like I'm hitting you light hit, medium hit, heavy hit, launcher, boom, 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 extender, boom, 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 you know, finisher. Like you could just do it. So I was – the first match that we played, I ended up doing like a – a launch combo into the level three. And it's like... I got broke off like the first 10 matches. I oh, don't yeah. even lie. <laughs> I, well, I mean... But so the way I did it is I did a match and then we pl- I played that person like 10 times. Yes, yeah, what me and, and Whiskey were, did. They were vastly better than I was because it was my first time and I was like, bro, I don't even know how mechanics work. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, w- I was happy to do it, but I was happy because I was playing with somebody else so I could watch him, like he would play point. And I would watch him, and then I would be, he would be like, you want to get in? Or he would try to be like, I'm going to tag you in. I'm getting low. And then as we got further and further into it, when we started actually winning against that team, it was like we would switch out who started, and, and I started kind of getting into it. So, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, you can change who starts yeah, before yeah. the match starts, yep. which is weird. Yeah, it used to be, um, what did you have to hold? Um, you, have to hold the, you hold the tag button yeah. as it was well, saying 3, 2, 1 or whatever. Mm-hmm. You could do that in like MVC2. I don't know if 3 you could do that. Yeah, you, you can just do hold down the yeah. assist. Okay, yeah, which, of whichever like, character you yeah, want. Yeah, which so assist? I never knew that shit. Yeah, but I always start with X twenty three. Ain't no point of hide who coming. You know who coming. Uh, oh wait, MVC three. I th- yeah, I think you still do it. MVC three. Yeah. I just, I know in two you could do it. You just held whichever assist. Yeah, I think I think you still held the assist in three. Yeah, I may be wrong though. Who oh, man? Who knows, man? Who cares? Facts don't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I think that I I don't know. I I still like what this game is. Um, I'm hoping for a lot of improvements. I'm assuming we'll get it. And like, you know, oh, another thing to mention when you're doing the two V two, the person who's the assist has to do the burst. Okay. So again, that's another layer of strategy that you got to deal with. Cause it's like, sometimes I would get a little trigger happy. And as soon as they would hit whiskey three times, I was like, ah, I burst out of that. And he's like, oh, we could say that. <laughs> oh shit, man. That's your problem, man. You're always trying to, well, the other thing is like, so when, your load so fast. I mean, I'm, I know, man. When, trying to when get you, off uh, so quick. <laughs> When you die, uh, if the other person is still alive after a certain number of seconds, you get like a a super assist. Basically, like when you come out, you do your super. And when you're 
when your partner's God. down, they can still assist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I was super there was, confused. There was a, a cool times. down. Oh, that's what I said. There's a cool down. I think it's like mm-hmm. 10 seconds. But then they can start doing assist again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to grab it. You can't you. come out. Yep. I mean, they out. Because you got to get the 2XKO to win. <laughs> It's still weird no. to be. That's a stupid name. Oh, I like it. Do you? Yeah, I do. It, it rolls off the tongue now. What was the uh, What was the original oh. name that they had? Project L. Project L. Project L. Which we knew when L sounds sounds more like a code name. It does. It's just like the project name but versus. Like, I get it. They want to get the point across that you have to defeat both char- characters. Is that I where guess. it came from? I guess. Nah, I yeah, two terms. Don't, is don't you do that like yeah. most fighting games was a tag? Shut up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This was different. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Be, be waiting to see what the next character is going to be and what changes well, yeah, they I have. Mean, yeah, you do do that most of the time, tags, but you don't have rounds when it's tagged, though. Uh, yeah, 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 that's the other that's thing. True. Yeah. That's true. There's definitely, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. rounds. But you, mo- most matches I played, the rounds were quick. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad yeah. thing. No, we got, <laughs> I won some of those rounds, too. Yeah. They were quick, so. No, you could, you could, bro, you can get onto a nice, that's the thing is you, if you know how to execute at least decently, you can get a nice combo out of any sort of confirm. And then it's like, you know, I'm I'm doing stuff. You you taking it. And then like especially like if you play like Braum or Darius, dude, I hit you six times, you might be, you know, you might be halfway down, buddy. It's still gonna be shorter effect. than a fucking smash mouth. Uh, oh smash yeah, every time. Match. So Yeah, I'm sure there's be a there'll be a careful careful balancing act there because you remember well, well, I don't know if you remember but when MVCI first came out I remember we did a tournament in Mississippi when it came out and we watched the tournament when we were packing up Friday night we watched the tournament somebody played in Cal- Cal- California I think where all the pros were, were, were playing and those matches were going just like that because you know, the game so had just, just come out that, that week they're you know picking characters they already knew how to play from Marvel's Capcom 3 and they're ending the matches fast we get in there and play that game, and that tournament lasted three and a half hours. Yeah, because everybody was blocked. It was so much defense in the game. <laughs> and using that soul gym, get, some, get the and revive, yes, and all of that. And the matches were taking so long. And I just remember some folks from Louisiana were just waiting to play because they played all of Dragon Ball. We started MVCI an hour into before they started Dragon Ball, and we we were supposed to do like whatever's left of Dragon Ball whenever MVCI was over. They got to the end of Dragon Ball. We were in hour two of NBCI, yes. and they were like, "So we're we're just at the uh, winners' final and grand final. Oh, well, we're we're just at the losers' final and grand final now." We we were like, "Well, wait, we don't do it. We'll we'll do it on stream." We waited another hour before we did, and those folks were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame them. We were all just kind of like, God, "Oh God, is this that? is this over yet?" Man, just 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 lose on purpose. Hey, just, <laughs> stop pressing buttons. Let them let them get you. So, huh? so yeah, you. there's a balance in that there, but particularly with the rounds. But I'm pretty sure it's going to stay at like a relatively high damaging game. Yeah, I think so too. You don't want to you don't want the matches to last too too long. That's one thing I didn't uh, I like I didn't like about um, Dragon Ball um, fighters fighters. Mm-hmm. At least when I played, it was like, bro, it was like some of those punches and kicks only doing. This much damage. I was like, my God. The damage scaling was nasty in Jeez. some in some iterations of fighters. Like they had to I think they put put the damage up towards the uh the last updates and stuff, right? Because um, they went through a phase where like you were saying, where it was like you had to do so everybody doing was a doing a 30 hit every- combo and they was only losing like that much health. I was like, my yeah, God. Yeah, but that's why you have to do like 118 hit combos though. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you gotta you gotta <laughs> learn the big combos to get that. And it's damage, not a yeah. 38 hits ain't, ain't big? Not that's not like ultra, that's an ultra combo and kill instinct. Yeah, ultra, <laughs> ultra, ultra, ultra. <laughs> Supreme victory. Yeah. <laughs> then they eventually add a kind of like a that that bar to like when you lost a character the the bar swayed and the more it was to the opponent side the more damage you did that was early like on that. that was in the beginning I thought that was at the end I think that was at the beginning of it like the when you should be doing stuff because that's when I was still trying to play it and it was like. Yeah, the uh, it's not a momentum bar, but I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. like it was like a red and blue bar. Momentum mm-hmm. bar. Yeah, you said what? Momentum bar. Yeah, momentum bar. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm inclined to agree with Nolan. So, bro, get, get off his sack. Oh, it seems to. Anyways, seems to uh, what else have we been playing this week? Uh, we Just played. Step in the uh-huh. game. Oh yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know why. Wait, For some what? reason, your computer doesn't run the game as well as ours. What, what game? game? Uh. Delta Farce. 
No, I Delta hate, Force. I hate all you. <laughs> Delta Delta Force uh uh Hawk Ops. Hawk Ops, yeah. Hawk Battlefield. Ops. Hawk Ops Battlefield. Oh, yeah, so I, uh, what, what's up? I, I I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's just an optimization issue. Uh, it it's got to be because you're you're well above the the. Yeah, yeah I looked it up too. You're the like, recommended requirement. Evil well is using above. a worse computer than you and yeah. playing has no problem. It plays in ultra settings. Yeah, and it's, the game wants to play in ultra. And you know what? It doesn't do it as much when the game actually like when I get in game, but I can't do anything in most of the menus because it's like just skipping. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, probably some weird setting, like something that contradicts. Oh yeah, some turn your, your system off or something yeah. stupid like that. Yeah, and I've turned. I brought. Did you upgrade your card? Uh, not yet. No car drivers. No, oh, you talking about the about. Uh, drivers? Yeah, yeah. My drivers stay updated. I don't play that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't one of those people. I'm on version three, they on version seven point eight. I'm oh. saying, man. Sometimes you upgrade those drivers, it'll fuck you. Oh, it'll it mess it up. So, yeah. Sometimes, but yeah. The GeForce I'm, Experience told me to do it, but I'm that guy. See, I don't use GeForce. Next time you do it, like you should do a custom installation and. Uninstall the last drivers to install install the, the new drivers. Oh, if I do Express, I don't do that. No, it just updates no, the just different updates files. There. Yeah, I probably got a million files of of old drivers. How can I go in and delete it? That's what slows Somebody your tell computer me the down. How to do it? Don't, do don't trust them. I don't trust them. Yeah, just run the update and do a cu- custom and yeah, just do a fresh. I'm trying to click stuff while you, I'm eating grapes. You might need to you might need to change your settings back and stuff, but yeah, hey, I know settings. that's the thing. I don't want to do that. Yeah, bro. Like, I, be, I don't want to be Geek Squad in order to But anyways, play we've games. been playing Delta Force, Hawk Ops. I've been having a lot of fun with it. You I've been playing the, uh, it like almost every night for like the last week. I'm gonna try to get Probably been game. playing it right now if it weren't for Yeah, doing this thing. Yeah, this thing. Yeah. I hope you I hope you guys appreciate that. Yeah, we're giving up now. Hawk Ops time for y'all. And I've been playing the Battlefield mode, I've been playing the Tarkov mode. Tarkov mode is a lot of fun. You played too. the campaign yet? Is that the actual campaign? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to play it yet. I, I know it says campaign, but I'm afraid to click on it. I don't know. I didn't think it was available. <laughs> I How you know if you didn't click, click on it? I'm scared. I'm like Zach. I'm scared to click it on was, it. But I'm not sure. Why was the mode be? Uh, the other two modes are available. Don't put the other mode that's well, not be available. They're going to show you what's what will be there one day. Yeah, it's probably like a little part of it. Or something. Hey, look at this. Look I this. like the battlefield mode though. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I want to play the Tarkov mode. Um, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, which is something I normally don't do because it doesn't have controller support. Not no yet, controller which doesn't support. make sense because it's gonna have a console release. But that's okay. It doesn't need it. You exactly. don't need it, but I do. <laughs> See, normally, like the only him, only issue I don't cause I can play with a mouse and keyboard. Okay, I definitely prefer the controller. But see, this game has like abilities. Okay. Yeah. And it's it's a little bit harder for me to press the keys on the keyboard. You gotta get your you gotta get some buttons on your mouse. I got buttons on my mouse, but I'm scared to change it because uh-huh. I don't like change. <laughs> so. Those are all valid reasons, Stephen. I back you up one hundred percent on these. I can like, I can like, like just four buttons on the side of my mouse, probably perfect. As long as for I each one of these, you abilities. ever use those mouse buttons? No, never. Why did I have that mouse? Default? Huh? Why do you have that mouse? It look cool. Cause it look cool. <laughs> I like it. As long as I can put walk on mouse too. I hate games that don't allow you to do that. Walk. Yep. Like sprint. Like, like moving forward. Wait, you oh, use, you use the mouse button yeah, to move yeah, forward? Use your yeah. mouse button to move yeah, forward? Mouse too, yeah, mouse And then you, you weird button. shit are you doing, though? Use that's, ASD. That, that, that's how I learned to first play first-person shooter games, starting with Quake 2. I'm sorry. You can't never say nothing about me trying to play no, no, controller no. No, on keyboard. Folks, folks were considered weirdos back in the Quake 2 days that played like that, but that but that's how I learned. So. No, nah, I mean, it's, I just lost all respect for you. But that's the cool thing about PC. You can, like, you can fucking... Yeah. No, no, you can't. You can make no, you, no, can you, make, can't. you can make walk fucking print screen if you wanted to. I mean, you could. Yeah, bro, your system should cut off if you try to do that, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, seriously, what are we doing, man? Come on, <laughs> I got one to come up. Hey, man, you, you uh, make your sprint all and your F four up. Yeah, there you go. You be like some shut your game off games. every time you try to sprint. I gotta get up there, and get back to my phone. Oh, oh. I hate games that use caps lock for something but doesn't deactivate the caps lock actual oh, function. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be yelling at people in Discord. <laughs> because uh, caps lock in in this game is walk. So yep. in Tarkov mode, you walk a lot, uh-huh. so you don't as hurt as much. I'd be yelling at people. I'm like, my bad, caps lock. Yeah, Bro, did you see that? Oh yeah, that dude like or something. It's like they do jump twice when you after he's already down. Anyway, I mean, there's a little there's a little desync and stuff like that in the game, and it's fine. Yeah, that was funny. Shit, there's um, more desync and X to find than oh hell yeah, you get hit around the corner, which, baby. <laughs> which is like that sucks too because that game's got so much potential. Like the game's fun. The desync and X to find is just awful. Desync and jumping, but yeah, bro, how you can jump thirty feet around the corner? Though. Around the corner, you know what? There's not a whole lot of jumping in there. No, no, it's not. I just thought you about do, that. You do traversal, but you don't. You don't. People really don't jump. 
jumping. No, it's, it's mostly shit. just yeah. just strafing. And like like I said, it's, I mean it's it it feels like Battlefield in like the best way possible. The uh, the classes Battlefield three and four, not twenty four. Yeah, but yeah, why would we ever reference the other ones in a in a positive light? Um, the only thing I I kind of didn't like, but it's also because I'm not. Like I haven't really done any customizations or anything like that, but I didn't like how it it seems like it takes so long for a gun to get a scope, like a like a long range scope on it. And a lot of these battles, especially in the beginning, seem to take place long range. Talk so I don't know if it's only in the Tarkov mode. So actually the cool thing is in Tarkov mode, I keep calling it Tarkov mode. It's like, like Extraction what mode. Turmoil or something yeah. it's something turmoil. Anyways, if you extract with a gun in Tarkov mode, you unlock it in the battlefield oh, shit. mode. Yeah, same with the cool. skins and stuff too, right? Skins as well. Oh, we got skins. However, yeah, yeah, they're skins. I have skins for two of my guns that because I've gotten them through Tarkov mode. But in Tarkov mode, and I, it has to be throughout the whole game, like the uh, the different like dailies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Unlock weapon upgrade coins. Yep. And you can use the coins to level up your gun without having to actually level up okay. your gun. So that's why I have like a vector that's like level sixty something. And I was looking at some like the scopes, and I was like, dude, like a a four time scope is like level seventy three. I was like, it's my god! I think it's because of those token. You can get yeah, those you tokens. get the tokens. Okay. Like so, you use the tokens to level them up, but you also get experience by using them. There you right. go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It seems like the actual Next progression stuff is Aspen, fast. I'll, I'll tell you where, where to get it all to all that stuff. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah, you could you could progress in stuff fast on this because of the tokens and because of that mode. Like like it didn't feel like. It took me a lot to get to start to see uh, level ups with the weapons. Like yeah. we played a couple matches, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm getting decent ones. I was using the uh, AK74U. It has a um, not the red dot. What's the one above that? Two time. I guess it'd be two time scope. Oh, uh, by default. Or so a I mean, yeah, so it was pretty. And you know, the iron sights on this game aren't bad. No, no, they're not. But you know, all probably, the guns and stuff feel. Probably, is it out of all like the Call of Duty's and stuff? It's probably the best iron sights. Is there a way to change like the automatic weapons to like a single shot? Yeah, B. B? Okay. Well, that probably would have saved it. Helped me a lot. Yeah, if you look, see, right... I look for it, but yeah. then in the you know in the chaos of battle, I didn't see it, and I yeah, forgot about right it. Right above your gun, there's a little B, and okay. it shows you the different firing Okay. Weapons. That would probably help in the beginning where I'm more long range. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah the iron sights, and the sights they give you, even if they're not like magnifying sights, but like the red dot and stuff, mm-hmm. I mean, they're good. So it's just when you're trying to hit somebody from so far away, it's... And also, I'm trash at aiming. Pop. So like I'm, I see my dot right above their head. I'm like, come on, man, bring it down, something. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah. and then they go, <laughs> and I start holding up, revive me, Zach button. <laughs> and then and then Zach's right on top of him, you ready to revive me, and then I revive myself. So I respawn. Oh, bro, don't do that. I revive myself. Now, but it's got. I mean, it's got the stuff in Battlefield that we love. The spot, the squ- spawning on your squad mates. Um, Though they had one weird thing is like the one of the so I you know you can't spawn on your squad mate if they're under fire or whatever. Mm-hmm. There was it's another like one game. that was like uh, not enough space to spawn. It might it's, be in a, it might be in a little weird crevice or something. Yeah, why? What? Well, put me close to him. Tell him to get out of the crevice. They get out yeah. the crevice. Nah. But what's with you in crevices, man? Well, you know why? What happens? You get out of crevices. Are you right? Now you slumped over. You will get sniped across the city, man. But that's part of that's part of the, the beauty of it. The vehicles, you know. Hey, what was that dude's name? <laughs> yeah, you saw it, right? <laughs> hey, hold up now. It's a family show. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, you can't be. Um, no, I, I, I'm 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 excited about what this game is going to bring. Then you say that the uh, the alpha is just in perpetuity or something, right? There's no date on it right now. There's no no end date on it. Okay, that's okay. good. Yeah, uh, I know they, says no. Uh, just, yeah, that's that's why I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> Okay. Good, 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 good. He, okay. he, he has talked all this battlefield stuff. He's like, man, I gotta get in on this. I, I gotta play this. No, I'm, so, I'm so mad I didn't do the stupid Twitch thing. I did. I just I forgot to press the dang button well, one no, more what, time. You know what? No, don't get mad at yourself because get you, mad at yourself. No, no, man. Fuck, bro, I hate trying to. At least, at, at least they're letting you where you can watch it. You're guaranteed a key. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll do. I think they can still run out if you don't use the code they give you mm-hmm. in a certain amount of time. But at one point, they were like raffling keys off, and it was just. Nasty, so lame. Oh, yeah. nasty work yeah. right there. Or just let like, people sign up and play the game. Now I'm I'm happy that the response for this game seems to be really good. Yeah, people want a battlefield game. It's yeah, not the they do. bullshit that we got two years ago. Yeah, they fixed it though. Remember? Didn't they? No, nah, not at all. I'm excited to play more of it. Like I said, if we, if we weren't doing this, 
We we'll probably be playing oh, it right now. Yeah, we definitely be playing. And the, uh, the way that they did so obviously Battlefield went to operators, uh, twenty forty two, and this game did operators too. When I first tried, I'm like, man, please don't fuck it up. And they actually did a really good job of diversifying their operators, but at the same time keeping them somewhat grounded, mm-hmm. where nobody felt overpowered. Well, see, uh, yeah, the, the, I mean, uh, I like, the defense dude got the Nikita missile. I love that thing. I mean, I would definitely prefer if you could just have one character that's completely customizable, but, you know, I guess maybe that would bring some balance issues. No. That, yeah, you, you don't can, level up the operator. Right, though. right. Yeah. So it's just essentially switching classes. Yeah. And you, you can just, do that mid-match. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can switch between anything. And that's what I think that that's that's where it, um, like, making it to where they're different, but not so, so like, Somebody's bad. Like there's no. It doesn't seem like there's not a bad class. Now I will say that UAV thing that the the bow and arrow shit. Gets, oh man, it's so it's so useful. Yeah. I'm so glad that y'all are playing them because I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I want my explosions. I need. Listen, there's vehicles, so I got to make sure I keep a rocket on me. I will say that, um, and I know there's a balance to that. But right now, I feel like the rockets don't do enough damage to vehicles. Yeah. Um, but you know, they could always be updated. Are there mines? I think so. I, I don't think I was playing no, with the class. I don't think there is. No, I think because I think I rolled over a man or something. I think there's no. You know what? It's the it's the C four. C about to C four. Yeah, that's C four. Okay. Yeah, that's C four. And you and it. Hey, look, I was a master of C C four in Battlefield two and three. Well, the thing that's good is it's another one of those games where you can throw C four a pretty good distance. Because I hate the games where you only like underhand Call of Duty. Oh yeah. Well, see, I would I would do that. I would walk right up to to the the uh, tank. I would I would just sit there and hide oh, yeah. until a tank, and I I would run right up to it and stick the C four on it. Watch the 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 turret slowly turn around. And just wait, sit, wait for the turret to slowly turn around to try to shoot me, and then oh. and then blow it. You up. and me, baby. You know what I do oh like God, about this? That. They actually reward medics. Yes, they do a lot. You get decent points for reviving people. That's good, and Revive it saves me. tickets for your team. And Revive, that's the point. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because you gonna, gonna need them tickets. Dude, I had bro. I had one round. Where I had fifty nine revives. Yep. The next person Damn. had ten. Oh, so here's what I was getting ready to say. Don't know what, dude. I'm doing. getting shot by a lot of medics, and there's not a lot of reviving going on. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice. lot of people playing medics, but not a lot. Because they can put what they can do is they can put their healing thing down. Yeah. And they can take shots while they just sit there and shoot at you. So they don't care about healing anybody else. Nope. Yep. They're yeah. they're just using it to extend their own yeah, yeah. lives to. Get more kills. Self-pres- self-preservation. Sure, had, yeah, like there's there's games where I've had maybe one or two kills, but I'm at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, Cause well, I mean, yeah, cause that's cool. I like I like it when stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah they, 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 they got leaderboards too. Good at shooting, you can at least still help your team. Exactly. Doing like, if you're not you're not yeah. the best marksman, but yeah. you can. But then I hate it when I'm on a team where nobody else is doing objectives. Yeah. Yeah. It's like for Christ's sake, go 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 play like deathmatch or something, man. We there's stuff we're supposed to be doing. Oh, bro, like trust me, playing Call of Duty that shit is so infuriating. Yeah, enemy's taking Bravo. <laughs> you got one dude over here. He's got thirty five kills yeah. and seven deaths, but and he's he still losing. Yep, he ain't sniffed a point. Yeah, nope. he just he only cares about no his kill objective death. points at all. No. I mean, ex- hey, listen, you want you want to you want to see it? I mean, continue ex defiant. Oh yeah, because if it ain't us doing the objective when we in those matches, ain't no objective getting done. But <laughs> dude is on the outskirts of the map. Mm. Try snipe. Doesn't even have a capture. Even the free capture you get at the beginning. No, nah, I don't want it. But he's zooming straight to the other <laughs> side of the map, trying to get some people. Trying to get into this corner where they can't see me. I can see them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll definitely keep updating everybody on uh, our ex. I mean, our ex to find our uh, Delta Force Hawk Ops. Ex-Force. Yeah, actually, I want to I want to do the extraction mode. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, tar- I think Tarkov yeah, I seems are, too scary. Right. It it's a little brutal. Yes. I think this is. Well, I mean, uh, like actual horror. Yeah, no, it feels like a horror game. It's yeah. a good this this version is a good balance between DMZ and Tarkov. It's not as it's it's not as brutal as Tarkov, and it doesn't have the dumb shit that Call of Duty has. It's like a good balance. Nice. I just don't want to like we walk on a, around this abandoned facility for ten minutes, and all of a sudden I run into <laughs> another person, and then I fucking. Shit my pants because I'm so so scared. Rats, <laughs> fucking rats, man. <laughs> Dude, just waiting in the rafters. All right, so we want to shoot through some of these. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go through some of these trailers. They're pretty trailers short. that you want to start with. Let's start with Mortal Kombat since we all kind of know about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they showed off the the new Cyrax gameplay or yeah, gameplay and storyline stuff. Yeah, I hadn't seen it. I hear so big. 
Why did I bother to open up the mask? <laughs> yeah, so if I'm just going to put- close it right back <laughs> after I talk. It drives me crazy. Yeah, yeah. When they do that, it's like, well, well they got to show it off. Like, they had well, to show. How are, how are we going to see the emotion? I don't care. We they can had to show hear who's it. Under the mask. Yeah, that shows who's under the mask. So we, but we I, dealing, I, we're dealing with Scorpion's wedding. Oh shit! Scorpion get married. Yeah. So the the, the Shinri, Shinryu Rai and the uh, Lin Kuei have split officially. If you played the story, you already know this stuff. Um, but Ooh. now Scorpion looks like the Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat Three with the scar on his eye. Hell yeah! Yeah. Who's he marrying? I don't know. Probably like some random chick. I'm assuming that's how we get to. No, it's not Takeda because Takeda's Kenshi's son, right? Yeah. 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 Though, you know, we got the, we got the cool but Mortal I mean, Kombat com, uh, combos. What's his name's not the same as he was in the other one, too? The guy with the whips. Um, no. That's Takeda. Takeda, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a different Takeda. I think he's like his cousin or something now. Something like that. Yeah. But Scorpion, I mean, uh, Sub-Zero done gone bad. Yeah, I mean, the uh, I'm assuming that's the Sub-Zero assist or cameo. Yeah, it looks like it. The little that thing ball. on the ground. Yeah, it's coming oh, for you. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's still doing stuff. Oh, I kind of like the little rockets on the net. Yeah. Kind of makes makes more sense. Makes more sense. Whoop, 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 you doing this, getting trapped by it. <laughs> And I mean, for those who like the story mode, you already know how this is gonna go. If if Scorpion and Sub Zero beefing, then there's two two ninjas. I mean, two uh, cyber ninjas. You already know what's gonna happen. I feel like she could have let that last missile go by, and it would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got slapped oh, down, but then that was my stage. One day, played. like on teams at the first trailer, when they on the same side. But you know how the story's gonna go. If the ninjas get split up, then the cyborgs gotta get split up because not even our cyborgs they in power armor. Isn't Sub Zero and Scorpion uh, brothers in this version? Yeah, basically one one picked the side, the other one didn't like the side, and they split up. Finish. I like that classic finish. You. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, it's brutal. Jeez. And that's just finisher one. <laughs> Not even finisher two. And here's my face. Yeah, you, my, you gotta see the emotion again. <laughs> How happy I am. And then animality time, baby. Which I want to say that's another that's that's another character that's keeping their uh, animal from the old, uh, Mortal Kombat three version. Because some of them are different. Some of them are, are the same. Uh, a gorilla. A gorilla. I wonder who that is. Jack's ain't a playable character. Oh shit! <laughs> Neither is Darius. Oh shit! Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Better be Shao Kahn or somebody. <laughs> Tell me somebody big, right? We ain't, no, ain't no black cat playable characters in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, the the, the time, time lord, lord time guy. Oh, bro, Gar- bro, Gar- is that way to find out? Is he <laughs> he black adjacent? But he also like adjacent. He's also like a he's like a weird time cyborg. He's like a dude. Like he's just made out of time. So I don't know. He's man. a black time cyborg. Yeah, he's black yeah. time. Yeah, okay, yeah. we'll take it. We got we got to take what we can get. <laughs> got gotcha man and all of that in the background. I am I am curious to see who that's gonna be. Yeah. Uh what we got next? The Plucky Squire. Yeah, we can watch this one next. They finally got a release date. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was gonna be like canceled or delayed indefinitely. Why is that? I think it's, it's just a rumor. It's, well, it's because it's been so long since they've yeah, heard, heard something. About it yeah. in a while. Didn't I show this at Summer Games again? No, I, don't I know think they so. showed I know they showed it the previous year. Right. Now the first time we right saw it. I don't think we've seen yeah. anything of it since. Yeah. And it looks so, it looks so fucking cool. You gonna get it? I, I want to get it. That ain't what I asked. Hey, I'm, I'm, You're a grown man. If you want it, you can get it. I'll probably buy it, but never play it. Okay, that's, that's, that's cool. the story of my life. Hey, me too. Yeah, I, I think I really hope people give this game a shot because it feels like it has a lot of potential. Um, it's obviously not going to be, you know, a triple A hit, but. Yeah, I hope I hope it, it could gets be support. an ending, darling. Yeah, it could be like that last uh, throwing three D money at the two D screen. <laughs> Bayonetta you game. See that? Is uh-huh. it, I just wanted to be in the video. I was trying to be in the video. Did you ever, did you play that? Uh, okay, January twenty twenty five. No help. What? Wait, what? 
Wait. Oh, shit. We got to figure that out. September? September? Oh, okay. 2026? Uh, uh, uh. ah, 2024. There we go. Coming out in the September month, baby. 17th. Hell yeah. There we go. Yeah, it got you. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing that we were getting from a lot of these trailers now is we're getting release dates. That's good. We're, we're tired of getting three trailers and still no release date. Coming soon. You don't like that? <sighs> like you going to keep waiting. Release date for the MVC collection, dang it. There you go. Uh, I think it said October 1st. No? That's the last thing I saw. Oh. I think it's no, no. Pre- just, yeah, because pre-orders, pre-orders just went live for it. That's what it was. No, probably get about live for it at that, after that. Did it? Yeah. Oh, I just thought. Because I, I pre-ordered all. I, we'll every, get it. I pre-ordered every copy I possibly could that day. I think we'll get it probably around November. I'm never not having a physical copy of that game again. That's true. Well, I'm on, my on, list. A, on a current console. It's like, I'll, I'll get it on Steam, but I'll also have the Switch and the PS4 version. Just in case. You never know. Yeah, it just, yeah, says, it just 20, says 2024. Yeah, it says 2024. Mm. All right. Uh, Shadow of the Ninja Reborn. Yes, I believe this is a remake. Or re- yeah. yeah, I mean, it says Reborn. It's got to be, right? It's, it's a reburning. Oh, this game. Okay. I don't know what game I was thinking of, but yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. And it looks like it's multiplayer, too. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. Comes out soon. August 29th, yeah. I like the arts, like the pastel art style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what I want when, when people talk about doing, like, uh, the retro style. Mm-hmm. Like, I want more of this. Give me the clean. No, this is cool, too. Yeah, I like, oh, I mean, I'm hand-drawn looking art. Right, well, right. Yeah, yeah, I love but, kind of, It's like but, a comic booky looking. Yeah, but, you know, I love. This looks like something I would have rented. This good old-fashioned 8-bit pit. Oh, hell yeah. Too. Get a. No, give, give it to me. me. But this looks good. Give me this 16. looks really good. Yeah, I'm, prefer- I'm I'm a 16 man myself. Yeah. Well, 16 bit soup. Yeah. yeah. It, it I get, hey, I like it. You need to download the demo right now. The pixel looks or the hand drawn looks. Yeah. So give me give me all of the retro shit. Go down. Go and download the demo. Yeah. Check check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. I think you'll be I think you'll be pre- pleasantly surprised by that. I kind of want to try the demo out. All right. This next one is Slitterhead. I think we saw this at Summer of Games. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so. This was the the one from the uh, the Silent Hill guy, right? Is oh. it? Is this the one where you like jump from body to body, like ghosts and stuff? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Where where? You, yeah, where, it's from him. Yeah, where, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're you're making folks jump from ceilings, and then you jump yeah. to somebody else's body. <laughs> to so their death. That, that that poor guy's dead, and then you make what him you jump mean? from a ceiling to, to jump somebody across from there. That jumped. guy's dead. Shouldn't, hey, you shouldn't have got caught by my spirit body thing. Yeah, you shouldn't have been around <laughs> here. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah. Everybody will be in their house trying to live. <laughs> trying to just live your life. Look that. Hey, Why are you home. in the house? If you stay if you're not in the house, then you subjected to if anything. Not, if you're not at the house at night at any time, oh, he got caught his bed though, so that might oh that shit. Might not save you. <laughs> well, damn, I got possessed in my house. Oh, I'm nah, sorry, I'm dude. sorry. You was in the wrong place, wrong time. Oh fuck! Demon ain't got no name on it. <laughs> like freaking uh, Maxim. Yeah, is that what it is with the weird aliens that come down and you get the mouth in your your head turns into a mouth, but the one guy it went to his hand instead. Maxim the parasite. Yeah, yeah. Or was it parasite the Maxim? Parasite the Maxim. Yeah, yeah. Lady Deathstrike. <laughs> oh, she's a Marvel game. You wish. <laughs> I mean, now, I don't tell you it would be badass. Wolverine showed up and started just slicing people up. <laughs> it is J- Japan. It's they will just use licensed characters and not say nothing. Yeah, hey, you can't prove that. <laughs> Play with a silver samurai. Legally distinct. No, it's not the Silver Samurai. It's, it's the a Samurai sa- in it's Silver. It's Samurai in Silver, yeah. The Sterling Samurai. <laughs> Legally distinct. <laughs> the Sterling Samurai is wild. <laughs> Got an Italy 925 on his armband. It's real. I don't know. So this looks, I mean, I don't know. I'm, the game doesn't look scary like it did when they first showed it. It looks no. more I mean, like. Looks, there, wasn't a, there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay show there. So. Yeah. It's more like kind of like a story trailer. It, it reminds me of um, October thirty first. That's October twenty yeah. ninth. Yeah. Oh shit! What was the what was the game? Just the um, time for the, that was like November eighth, twenty twenty four. Shit! Everybody was wrong. What was the thing? They showed the clock. They showed the time went backwards on that clock. Oh, but why did like it look like a date though? It didn't look like a date. I thought they were showing the date. It did have a date, and it went backwards. And then it went backwards, and then it's in November apparently. So. So anyway. just in time after Halloween. Sometime you know. after Halloween. Yeah, oh, it seems this, like a uh, missed opportunity. But yeah, right. this is uh, Neo Berlin 2087. Is that the, the uh, dystopian 
pixel art. One? I'm assuming so. I don't know. I think it's not dystopian or not pixel art. Rather, okay. There's, oh, yeah. the, there's yeah, that yeah, one pixel art pixel one that they showed all. a few times. Oh, it's gonna be 2087. It's gonna be a shithole somewhere. Oh yeah, it's shithole with shitholes. Oh, it's the one with a uh, with a uh, Iceman. Who? It's not him. Val Kimmer? No, the Quantum Quantum Break. Oh, uh, his brother, Iceman, Iceman. Yeah, collagen lips over there. What you hey, mean? Man, that's you how you, that's you, how people look now. No, you like them lips. <laughs> yeah, black person mouth. <laughs> hey man, Museum Game Studios. Look, come on, it's floating oh. cars with the yellow. Oh, this is Blade Runner. Got, yeah, but it's, it's Blade Runner. Blade Runner ain't the only people that get to have f- uh, flying cars and shit holes. Huh. Almost, it's almost too shiny. Yeah, it does look very shiny. It reminds like it just, it like reminds it just me of uh, Deus Ex, but like I don't know if it's. Gonna I was going to say clean. like it reminds me a lot yeah, of Deus Ex. Like Deus Ex, yeah, it does look like it's trying to do some cyberpunky stuff. Some, some, some cyber fuckery. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> looks boy, good. he was shooting the fuck out there. I mean, it does look good. They are some bullet sponges. But they are they are very proud of their shining stuff. Look at our lighting. So okay, I get it. You I know, I'm that. really engine five, man. Bro, so, are, such a you, good know this, you know what them enemies remind me of? Fucking um, Operation Raccoon City. <laughs> Bullet sponges. Like the robot, I get, but like the dudes, he was popping the dudes. They just still fight. It kind of reminds me of a uh, bright memory. Yeah, where like, oh like, yeah, like, yeah. Like just to look at it, it looks really yeah. good. But if you really look at some of the animations, like in the gameplay and stuff, it's a little janky. Oh, so it's been janky part of it. Little, a little, little that budget. Hey, listen, our budget ain't quite very big high as you quality think graphics, is. but high, high, high quality graphics, but production animation isn't there. The animation yeah. isn't quite there. It's like the yeah, the Unreal Engine only take you so far, bro. That's <laughs> a big jump. <laughs> yeah, I got cyborg legs. Yeah, so. but if you land on somebody, so what does that mean, absorb, bro? Your, your they ankles absorb are the fall, man. They, they look terrible, fall. though. Yeah. Okay. No, I no, keep it out. It's all got the gameplay anyway, so it's it could get better. All right, get hella better. Now we got. Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. We got official release date. I haven't seen this. I I had a discussion with some Let's of my go. friends. Uh, Hell yeah, baby. This should have been the trailer that they showed <laughs> first. You think so? Oh, this trailer is much better. I, I watched a few seconds. Of, well, I don't say a few seconds. Watch like a minute of it. Yeah, I'll watch it with sign when I get home. Yeah. All right. So we got um. What's what's that? What's that plane called? Uh, the uh, the fate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That 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 uh, clearly becomes a big thing now. Which again, play the DLC to Ooh. Dragon Age Inquisition. That literally, like, it, yeah, it sets up this it game. It Sets up this game, yeah. So, from what I heard when I listened to uh, part of it that I did is uh, dragons. Dragons are there. Uh, there apparently, are a lot of the old age. gods are mad. Which, if you play the DLC, you'll know that that that's kind of a theme mm-hmm. towards the end of that. Um, so, it seems like. They're, it's building up to this 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 encounter or whatever the veil guard is going to be is all of the bad forces are not necessarily teaming up but they are approaching around the same time mm. which is again part of what the whole thing with the veil was and all of that so i don't know if the if the veil is going to um, explode or implode or what it may happen looks like it's some kind of unstable yeah the Griffin, you might be able to get a Griffin too, from what they show yeah, with that. Looking like it, yeah. Which will that be different because you usually got a dog. Damn. Definitely a lot more focus on the uh, uh, on the action cutscenes, which I mean, you know, presentation wise, I get it. Yeah, I mean, to me, it feels like. I mean, I'm definitely going to play this game, mm-hmm. but it feels like the 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 make or break is going to be the gameplay itself. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. I was I was expecting more RPG. This one's a little more action RPG. We'll see. I really just hope I hope that they do a lot more with the leveling up the cut like the the skill customization stuff like that because it's like look if you want to focus on more action I get it but let me let me get things from from doing this action don't let it just be that you know I start the game off doing three sixty spins and shooting spells and then yeah you know I'm Fuck doing yeah. those same moves sixty hours into the game. You think this game is like make or break for for Bioware? Yeah. What else do they like got? If, if if this doesn't work, no, nah, we, we still we st- nah, we still got uh, Inquisition did so well. We still got. Uh, yeah, how long ago was like, that? Right, twenty eight years ago. Twenty fourteen. Like, it's not like they've been throwing <laughs> ten out, years ago throwing out duds, and this is like the last Anthem. Hail Mary. Anthem. They still made the Inquisition. 
<laughs> Ten years ago, <laughs> the last hey, the last thing we know age. Bioware for is Anthem, and that no, is a we, nasty um, taste. Is un- unfortunately, Anthem is the last thing they no. have to their name before this. And I'm wanting, trust me, I love the series except for two. I want this to work. October thirty first, uh, October thirty. Oh, see, put it on, put it, it on. Loop. See, it feels like the, it feels like that one and what you call yeah, it. Yeah, they should switch switch release. Maybe days. that's why that one didn't come out on October thirty first mm. because maybe Dragon maybe Age. Like Dragon like, Age is kind of had her. So, it's gonna kind of take take up all the air. For yeah. me, not a a diehard Bioware fan. When I think of Anthem, I actually think of EA, not Bioware. Unfortunately. I mean, yeah. You should. No, you you really should. But, but, but the, the public perception, at least within gaming, it's is still, that it's... I'm it's, within gaming, and I, I don't associate Bioware with Anthem at all. I mean, I... Unless I, you tell I, me. I, I unfortunately do. I Well, to, But uh, you're a big Bioware fan. Oh, I was a huge Bioware. There was... Oh, there was a time in my life where there were three companies that could do no wrong. Valve, Nintendo, and... Bioware, dang it! And no, now only up. one of those companies is on that. that li- it's a list of one now. Nintendo, really. yeah. Valve, Valve. Right? Um, what did Valve do? They don't make games. They don't make games anymore. <laughs> they made Half Life Alex. That's they, true. Uh, that was they put VR on. You, you, they, they do got yeah, another that, game that coming out, true. and 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 supposedly there's a new there's game. A in, in it's not Half Life. And well, uh, yeah, it's probably they don't do threes. Okay, yeah, so we're no, never getting Portal Three. They still can't count to three. Yeah, which is like. They don't like money. It was like, no, they, they just don't want to spend it, I guess. But either way. Yeah, they don't really need um, to. But I, I want this game to work. I really do. I love the series. And I want Bioware to stick around to at least try to do Mass Effect one one more time. You'll get another which, Mass which, Effect. Which is in development. Yeah, it is. Even, even, even if this. It? Bioware making yeah, it? Yeah, making it. Yeah. Even if this game flops, you're going to get another Mass Effect. Now, after and that. That might be the. like If, if, they, if, if we if, get another Andromeda on, I think. If well, see, the thing is, they didn't make Andromeda, or like at least the main team well, didn't make yeah, Andromeda. The main team didn't make Andromeda. Well, a lot, they, a lot they of the, all on I think a lot of their team and, was, um, yeah, was on acquisition. A lot of people yeah. left. Well, that uh, too. Yeah, they've also they, had a, they had the, a lot the, of the team people. of Bioware isn't necessarily the same Bioware. Oh, well, they are probably no, 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 no when, company ever is. No. When when the founders left, I was already because I mean they left right after Mass Effect three, and it was like, well, Casey Hudson's still there. Oh, he left too. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but people didn't like Mass Effect Three. Anyway. But then Casey Hudson's back now. Well, like so him, yeah, you may think that. you know. So that Hopefully. that that's why I've got high high hopes for. I want I want it to do well like you. Now, yeah, it's no. not my it's not my cup of tea per se anymore. But I still want it to. What do about well. Reorigins? Huh? What about Reorigins? What is that? The remake of Dragon Age Origins. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're supposed to be re, re, remaking Origins now. That's the first time I heard it. Oh, for real? I thought we talked about that before. No. 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 Okay. He's casually yeah, dropping that, man. It. Yeah, but. Drop a bomb uh, yeah. on him. Boom. Yeah. You dropped a bomb on me. <laughs> that would be. Baby. I love <laughs> Hell yeah. that game. That, hey, that's my but game right there. don't change. Oh, no, just, just update the graphics and just, that's it. Just, just, just make it in 4K. Yeah. Run six, six, no, it's going to run like Inquisition. I mean, if. He's got no. Shut the fuck up. He's got no ball. He knows exactly what's going to happen. We hey, all know hey, what's going to happen. You want a job, by the way? Because <laughs> guess what's going to happen? We got an executive it's position remake for you. It, and they're going to be like, so one of the things we really wanted to to nope, nope, to, nope, to nope, fix. Nope, nope, nope. Cut off. Stop. Stop <laughs> it. Stop nope. it. Stop Bro, it, what happens when Reorgins comes out and it has less spells than Bro, than come on, uh, man. Golly. Well, I never use spells a lot anyway. Well, get the fuck out of here. Well, you you switch some more against you use spells. Yeah, actually, in that game, that's probably the most I ever used magic because magic was freaking awesome. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Them dudes you in the room this, over there? You, you had to turn ice storm? You, 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 had, you had to turn Put it off over friend, friendly fire. Oh, no, Why no, would you I, play I, with friendly no. fire on? We started with that off. God bless it, man. All the best spells. My guy would always just find a way to be right there when it hit. It's like, oh my god, would you move? No, nah, I, mean, I, I like to be where the action is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. got so. a dog in the middle of the <laughs> Bro, covered, in, covered in ice. Is <laughs> 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 there any update on the new, not new, the remake of uh, Kotar? No, no, it's it's basically still in limbo. They said last they, I heard that it's it's still planned. They haven't yeah. given up on it. Apparently, it's they haven't given it to a new the new last team. Message that they put out is like, hey, we haven't given up, given up on it, but don't expect any news in it soon. They said that they're still looking for a team to meet their standards since the yeah. other team didn't. So yeah. that's mm-hmm. all we got. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think man, I think the game is gonna like. I think it'll at least be Inquisition level of quality, and that's good enough for me. I really don't believe we'll ever get the level of Origins just because when Origins comes away out, from that style of game. Well, well, that and like when Origins came out, right, the bar there was no bar. 
but they end up setting it so high for like big Western RPGs. Well, yeah, that 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 was like the bar for Western RPGs. Because again, I hated Mass Effect when they first announced it because they stopped working on Dragon Age to finish Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. But Mass Effect came out and was just like. I just fell in love with that game. But then Dragon Age Origins came out, and oh, my God. Yeah, I see, I think, everything I wanted it to be. I think there's, more. there's room for that. I think if you, especially like after uh, Baldur's Gate, man, if no, you make a, good, yeah, 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 a yeah. high quality, yeah, but that was such a huge risk. Not a huge risk. It was. No, it was. But, Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate 3, like... Well, again, Baldur's Gate had a name behind it, though, for old right. folks, at least, like It me. wasn't as huge of... It'd be huge risk for a different company with a different IP. With, with, right, yeah, right. with like a, yeah. Like it'd IP be a that huge that, risk. Yeah. Well, also like what, so the thing with Bioware, and to your point earlier, right, they're part of EA, which means that the expectation sales wise is different than what Larian had for Baldur's Gate 3. Now, Baldur's yeah, Gate 3 exceeded yeah. all sales goals clearly, like, like yeah, immediately. Does, yeah. does Larian, do they have a publisher or were they their own publisher? Who published? Um, they, also, they, they published. No, no, no. They, yeah. Warner Brothers, right? No, no. 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 Larry no. was their own publisher. I, I, th- I, th- I think they. I think okay. they, they released it. Oh, so that's probably yeah. a reason why it, they could basically do what they wanted to. So who is it? Um, who owns Games Workshop? Is it, uh, the um, D- the D- the Boulder's Gate stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's Hasbro. Games Hasbro. Hasbro. I know, I know, Hasbro. 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 Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I know Hasbro was like, "Great guys, great job. Can't wait for the next game." And they're like, "Next game? No, what? we're just gonna we're just gonna make a." It's owned by Wizards. Which Hasbro owns. Hasbro owns, Hasbro owns, Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro owns them. Yeah, but they're they're like, yeah, we're not going to make a Baldur's Gate four. We're just going to make our own thing because because now we're the stu- 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 studio that made Baldur's Gate three. So no matter what we make next time, the eyes are on us now. The eyes are on us now, and we could keep all of it. You know what yeah. it is, right? <laughs> it's just Divinity three. It's yeah, probably yeah, it's probably, probably going to be Divinity yeah. three. Yeah, yeah they're going to be like, three. we're going to take basically everything we put into Baldur's Gate three. And Take put in Divinity 3 yeah, because Divinity 1 and here. 2 is how you get to Baldur's Gate 3. And, yeah. and while we're working on that, we'll make re-releases of 1 and 2 so everybody can get caught, caught up and we can get sales on that game too. There you yeah. go. I think it's, like, it's going to be like $12 on Steam. Uh-huh. And you know what? It's really the main reason they just wanted to do what they wanted to do because he said it's like we could have easily made an expansion or even 4. We yep. had the content. We were planning on doing it. And then we thought about it. It's like, do we really want to just do this for another four years? No. It's like we'd rather just do something that that's ours yeah, that we want to do. Thing. So, well, I'm hoping I'm hoping with Velgar. Like everything I've seen, every time I see something new with it, like I said, that trailer should have been what they showed originally. That is a it much lo- better trailer. It than looks than, much better. Yeah. You know, I think the original show though i think they wanted to show gameplay yeah they wanted to show that the game did exist because a lot of folks uh, some folks still don't believe that game is coming out this year yeah because it's just been so long that they hadn't said anything it's like well uh, whatever but i think they wanted to show gameplay out the out the 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 first thing they want to show was gameplay to show everybody the game is here it exists this is actual gameplay and now we get the 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 hype reel i guess which but i yeah i do agree that 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 would have made me go oh but then I want to saw the gameplay and go, oh, oh kind of, yeah. kind of, kind of the same way I did when when yeah. I saw it. So I, I don't know. I think it's a good idea that they got it out the way because they probably knew some folks like me may not be so happy when they saw the gameplay of it, not the look of the game, but you know the, the fact that it's not like you know yeah. turn based and stuff like that anymore. I think I think if I think Veilguard is going to be turn based since the first one, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, they, well, they slowly really move like, away like, from like, it. Yeah, so like, aren't we like more, more three like, or four games removed from the tournament? No, I think well, you can pause. It's, it's, more, pause too, it's more. It's more. It's um, more. There's more non-turn base than there is turn base. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, you well, know, technically one's not. I mean, it's turn yeah, it's, base, it's turn base. You, it's, could, it's, you it's, can stop it. Yeah, you, the real you time can pause and yeah, yeah ta- ta- tactical. I guess. Yeah. Real time tactical. Yeah. yeah well, now it lo- looks more real time ta- tactical, but there, you know, you could pause it and give commands, and you know, yeah. which you could still, still, still be able you to can do still do it. It's just now, with two. They, in Inquisition, you can pause it. Yeah, it's just yeah, with two. Could. It became it. It honestly it was it was the basic attack systems. Yeah. So it used to be like you told everybody to attack these people, and you see them do an animation that goes to it. Then it turned into now you're actually pressing the button like. Do, you're doing combos now. Yeah. And that was the thing that was so much different than it's the like original It's like real-time combat, but with some tactical elements yeah. to it now. Because you can still go to menus and pick your spells and right. skills and all kinds of stuff like that. But in the actual fighting, I'm hitting buttons. 
what running up to enemies and doing yeah attacks. doing 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 basically combos and stuff and i mean i think that there's still i think there's an avenue for both of those like you said with boulders gate i think that for us to expect the newer ones because again ea like bioware still answers to ea they have yeah. to meet certain expectations and as much as as boulders gate 3 was such a big success mm-hmm. financially that's an outlier based on what the real sales of that genre really are. Like oh. Dragon Age was a big seller in that genre, but they weren't doing Baldur's Gate numbers. They were doing like, you know, a mill or so. And it's like Dragon Age one sold actually like surprisingly a lot. I mean that that one probably is but I think that one and, and obviously Inquisition. But I think one might still be better the best selling one. But again, relative to what actual sales of games are, the RPG genre in all versions of RPGs, mm-hmm. isn't the big selling genre. And sometimes I think that the companies themselves, like, Square soft. It, I mean, you, you ain't got to say it, but we know. <laughs> like, they overestimate, oh, games are selling this games number. Games are selling this much, so but it's like, we should be able to sell that much. And your it's fan like, base ain't, like, for every, I say, for every new Call of Duty player, like it's gonna be like another thousand Call of Duty players before you get another real RPG fan where they're gonna buy all of these RPGs. Most people who even like RPGs only really like a series or two. Yeah, and really, honestly, you, you can't play them all. Like it's just because they require too, too long. Time. Yeah, the time commitment is different. Yeah, so, so it's yeah, you pick you pick your 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 series and that's what you play. Like people who play Persona don't necessarily play Final Fantasies and, and Star Oceans and Disgaea. On like Disgaea for for example. Yeah, the people who play Disgaea. Play Disgaea, because you're gonna have to put 200 hours into every one of those. Well, like, there's a good chance they play a bunch of other. I mean, there's a lot of overlap. Like, 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 NIS games. Yeah, RPG like, yeah, is yeah. very daunting. For, like yeah. for me, mm-hmm. it's a very daunting. Like I have to be like, there has to be a lot of factors that go into me playing a, a, an RPG. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to like either the I have to like the art style, mm-hmm. the the combat, or in the gameplay elements, the mechanics. Like I have to like everything. Yeah, before, story, yeah. before I commit to it. Yeah. In the last 10 years, I've probably played more RPGs in the last two years just because there's been a lot of good RPGs mm-hmm. that have come out in the last two years. But prior to like Sea of Stars and stuff like that, I didn't really play many RPGs because there's such a big time. That's why I thought you didn't like them. Mass Effect 3 was probably the last RPG I played all the way through before Sea of Stars. And you think about the way that Mass Effect was presented. The first Mass Effect, they changed stuff because they were like, People that tried this game, some people right, didn't, didn't like, like it. Mass Effect. Didn't like it, so they were like Mass Effect Two. We got to find that that middle ground where we bridge the because con- because most people's complaint was I didn't like the combat. You know, yeah. story was okay. I didn't like the combat. Then Mass Effect Two comes out. It becomes Mass Effect Two. Partly, even if I didn't personally like like those choices to a degree, yeah, I understood them from a gameplay and keeping. It was people- a nice yeah. middle ground. Yeah. yeah, I always looked at yeah. those games as the. Mass Effect 1 was an RPG with shooting elements and Mass Effect 2 was a shooting game with RPG elements. Yeah. Which if you're going to catch the if you going to cast a bigger net, yeah, you got to do it that way. It. Yeah. And that's the same so thing. And, and there wasn't really anything RPG wrong with that. Game. I mean, I didn't I liked, you know, finding all the different armors mm-hmm. and getting the guns. I want the bright like yellow that. armor. Yeah, the, yeah, oh, I was all about the Onyx. Was it Onyx? The yeah, Onyx level, was yeah. Or yeah. The, the, the 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 what was the Spectre armor? It's all oh, talking about the all black, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but you have to play through the game multiple times to get it for every character. Char- mm-hmm. I did that for three different characters. Played through a multiple. Hey, I used to I used to run through, I used baby. to run through Mass Effect on week week weekends because I knew exactly what what to do. Ah, oh, yeah, you probably could go through it pretty quick. Pro launch, like what you do. pro launch. That was Mass Effect two. I know one. You were. But yeah, it's just on that Mako, baby. Yeah, RPGs are such a commitment, and there are people that sit there and play all of them. That's all they do. That's what they they do. They got the time. But they, yeah, but a lot of people don't have the time to do that. Yeah, and I can't even sit still, bro, to even try. Like I started up Final Fantasy Tactics again, and I was like, oh, I don't have the time for this. You got got time. You're not willing to take half an hour. All of us, none of us have played a past act two. I'm at like, Act 3. I'm at Act 3. I got the Act well, well, I might have got reset. I meant, like, we haven't played. You haven't played through Act 3, though. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm yeah, none of, us have, none of us have finished it. Right. Yeah. I, thought, I, such I, a commitment. I want to. I need my I want to play other games, too. Right. We're gonna, we want to play other stuff. Party. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I mean, like, right now, there are so many there are so many things I want to play. I want to play Mecha Breaker. I want to play Blackhawk. I want to play 2XKO. I can only play one. You only get, like, two or three hours a night, if that. Yeah. 
And then the weekends, if you don't have anything else to do, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm excited for it. Like, like, October 31st is, like, really close. Oh, yeah. It's two months away, basically. Um, I'll go by yeah. just like that. And I'm going to skip it because I know Danielle will be playing it, so yeah. I'll watch her. Yeah, you watch her, man. Hopefully by then I'll be streaming. I'll probably try to stream it then. Oh, there you go. I'll watch yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, you live vicariously through me, man. I got you. It's going to take, hey, if I, if I start yeah. it up, it's going to take us a while to get through it, my boy. It's going to be a lot of walking around. I wouldn't have yeah, done that. Why. I can't watch. You make the wrong cho- the choice. I wouldn't make it. Like, no. yeah. I'm not safe coming. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Folks keep telling Somebody me. Somebody died, bro. There's nothing I can do. Bro, we'll start it over. I can't start it over. I'm already going. Auto save. I've been told uh, they want to watch me stream other games on my other channel. Yeah. And it's like, you don't want to watch other me channel. playing the game. On my, Stucky. Yeah. My main, oh, huh. my, my, my main. Uh, hey. I wonder what happened if I did this. I'm going to go back. <laughs> See, yeah. Tw- no, it's only two wait, wait. hours on the previous save. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, oh crap, there was a corner of that room I never did go back to. How gotta I go, gotta back? go back. Okay, well, I got to. I was forty five minutes. Okay, there wasn't anything here, and then go. <laughs> I'm not. That's I, what you will be watching me do. I'm not watching Steven uh, stream a game like that. <laughs> oh, hell I'm no. not watching. I'm not watching. No, clearly, I'm not watching oh, Nolan play. I gotta. Well, I gotta look at every corner. I gotta. Yeah, I, 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 I now, gotta. Check. I can do it with you when we play when we play Baldur's Gate, the the hack and slash or like championship. Like I'm, I want to check all that because I want to get all the items and stuff. Yeah. But like, bro, you interacted with all these boxes. Oh, bro, I was yeah. driving Zach crazy over there. We was playing Resident Evil Four. I'm gonna go over here see what's in here. Can't, nothing. <laughs> I was just glad that we didn't create a character on Resident Evil Four. Oh, bro, that would uh, that you ain't gonna ever get past the Dragon Age character. <laughs> I was, I was trying gonna take two hours. The color of the red hair. Just, I'm, I'm gonna start it up, and I'm gonna get tired in the middle of doing it, and I have to start it again the next yeah, day. Yeah, because they ain't gonna say your character yeah. creation progress. Then you gonna like you gonna like the origin you pick because they put origins back in there again. Oh okay, good. yeah. So you, the new two K, the new two K looks fucking awesome. I can't wait for that. And oh, we, yeah, we're definitely gonna be bro. playing it. Uh, is it the PC version? Um, I don't know. I want the PC version. Is, I mean, I got the X. We got the Xboxes. Yeah, we got Xboxes. Yeah, we just get the Kobe version again and get the League Pass. Yeah, here we go. Don't you love that, Steve? Yeah. I'm gonna play some Xenoblade Chronicles Three. I still play that. That's gonna be another two hundred hours. Right, you know, Guaranteed. You know, that, that, during I launch of the Switch. It. No, I wasn't no, launch. No, 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 no. It's been it's been about two years though. Yeah, I it's think. been a couple of years. Yeah, because yeah. Nolan was trying to get your copy for like two years. I didn't even want the game. I just want the collector stuff. Chris, mm. I know it's gonna buy two hundred dollars right now though. <laughs> Price of the brick the one up. <laughs> all right. Well, give us your thoughts on uh, all the games that we talked about. Or maybe there's some games that we didn't that we haven't talked about. Oh, there's yet. plenty. There's just so much stuff coming out. Yeah. It, that's, Tell us what you're playing. Sense. Tell us what you're excited for. Is anybody out there that's playing Concord? Bro, if, you're play, hope, if you are playing please Concord, please know. talk to us about it. Yeah. And, and, and tell us we're wrong and tell yeah, us why tell we're, us we're wrong. wrong. Tell us that the game's awesome. You enjoy it. I, I mean, I hope somebody's playing it. I mean, I don't have it. It was like 300 people playing it on Twitch. Uh, huh? It was like 300, what, 300 views on Twitch at one point? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Shit, I try to watch somebody play Mecha Breaker. Nobody's playing that game on Twitter. Well, the server's on on maintenance every time I try to log in. Oh, so that might be why. Yeah, I think I think they didn't like like the uh, they didn't believe in their game. Well, the the beta window, or whatever they're doing, is like they hadn't they got different times for it. Oh, are they same. doing the super vibe shit? They might be. Yeah, Where it's only open like for a certain couple hours every night. Yeah, man, stop. Do- if you're a developer and you can hear this, <laughs> stop doing Windows when your game is available. Not everybody can play during fucking five to seven every night. That does suck. Yeah, yeah that's that's awful. Like, what about the people that play like fucking work graveyard shift where they're they can only play games? I guess at they're like six or seven in the morning. Or, I don't want your graveyard money. Get a get a real oh, fucking job. That. And then fucking supervive, man. I really like supervive. Jonathan really likes supervive, but to his point, we go fucking a month before we can play it again, and I fucking forget. I don't want to learn the game over. Hey, bro, again. and that, that's the part that's annoying. Like that that type of game, because every time we play it, I have to learn. Like, what do I do? How do I do it? I'm tired of flying around that little training stage every time we we jump back into the game. Because that's what I spend my time doing is trying to figure out the controls, and I suck because it's on keyboard and mouse. So I'm like, I'm falling the holes and all of this, and then we playing with real other people, and they over there just blah, 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 blah. you dead. Fucking experts, apparently. Get, get my tag, bro, and get me to the one of them revived things <laughs> real quick. For get me to the revived station. Yeah, take me to the station real quick. Oh, yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you're playing. What you're looking Let us know if you're to. excited for Dragon Age. Um, Any of the stuff we talked about. Yeah. Slither Head. Um, Onimusha. Go, go send a 
change.org petition to Capcom to get a. We'll sign it. Yeah, we'll definitely sign it. Yeah. We'll Normally sign it I won't, you. but this time I'll make the exception. We'll sign it for you. I'll make other emails up to sign hey, it. Hey, I'm just saying. We got 319 subscribers. We got it. We got a little nice. bit of pool right there. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. So, okay. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As Darius said, let us know what you're playing. Let us know your your hopes and your desires and your dreams. Let us know your fears. Maybe we can maybe we can talk about it with each other and work you through it. I'm put the HR complaint in. I am the HR department. Ah, wow. Conflict of interest. Yeah. yeah.